everybody. How are we doing today? Uh, welcome to another stream here on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. I am Johnny Chiodini. And uh, what will we be playing today? That's a great question. Let me bring in some really great background music just for a sec. We're going to be playing Backbone. This is a game I have been sort of following on Twitter for quite a long time because um, it's a game about... Uh, that might be a bit loud, actually. Um, it's a game about a, uh, a raccoon who is um, a private detective trying to solve a case while also being a raccoon. Um, I'm not sure who it was in the chat who said that uh, raccoons make for great private detectives because they're always rooting through people's garbage, but... I can't fault that logic. Um, so this, I believe, was kickstarted. I think it's a Canadian-made game, um, but it's also just hit Game Pass. So to be honest with you, um, I, I'm just going to jump straight in. I have played approximately 10 seconds of this just to make sure it runs on my computer. But um, apart from that, let's let's jump on in. How are we doing, uh, lovely skeleton pals? Whole bunch of you in the chat as we dive into Act 1. Prologue. There's me, look. Reading a book, having a cigarette in the bath. Sorry, Mr. Oh God, I haven't practiced a detective voice. Yes, 27 on the buzzer. We'll, we'll, we'll workshop it, it'll be fine. Just enough time to clean up. That's almost certainly not to what a raccoon private detective would say. Okay, use L to drag and drop items. Use A to read the description. Case files. Insurance frauds, stolen cars, estranged lovers. Should probably be in some of these old case files. I have to say, right, obviously we've got a lot of the hallmarks of your classic noir detective already. We've got the long coat, we've got the surly attitude, we've got the um, sort of the world weariness over the um, the cases, estranged lovers, missing people. But that is an exquisitely cared for bonsai tree. I had a bonsai tree once and I killed it, no joke, in two days. They are very difficult to keep alive, if you ask me. Um, so good on this detective for uh, for managing to keep it keep it going. Here's the court board. Oh, okay, greenery, where most of our food is grown. Widest open spaces in the city. More restrictions on public visits every year. And how about, oh Christ. Oh, playing with the controller because I thought that might be easier. Rod Pad says I vote for a deep gruff geezer voice for the detective. Oh, Pianetta, you beautiful, dangerous renegade, you. Maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again. Nah, doesn't work. My diploma project. Places of absolute solitude. Only action my camera sees these days is snapping fools, leaving places they shouldn't be in. Crow says, oh wow, that is a straight up Vancouver map. Oh, okay. Mama Helen Luther told me everything I know. And I spent years trying to unlearn half of it. Top, home to the high and mighty. Skyscrapers full of apes. Big shots and gated communities. They can keep it. Vale Town, good place for a nice but expensive date. Museums, fancy music halls. I've not been for a long time. Granville, when the night comes to life. It's got rough edges, but it feels like home. Ah, gas town. <laughs> That's the dream. Well, if you're a bourgeois snob who dreams of overpriced salad, it is nice and clean, though. Right, enough inspecting the cork board. We're to tidy up. Let's, let's, ah! Use L to drag and drop items. Oh, boy. X to, X to pick up. We'll get rid of that. Uh, we should probably get rid of the red apple. Oh, there's a cigarette. Dangly feet. Is there anything else we should be picking up? Are we just... That's all we're doing? Oh, we're using A to pick things up, aren't we? Eh. All right, I guess that's all we're picking up from here. I mean, this doesn't exactly look tidy, but... 
Chris Stevens says, I love me an overpriced salad. Who doesn't? I mean, me, to be honest. Hmm. Mankoy says, oh, yeah, it is Vancouver. I can see why I stayed for a conference on this. Interesting. Media set. Got to hear that Frankie to fix it when I have cash. So never. See, down and out. Self-deprecating, but lovely bonsai tree. Notes on a fridge. Call mom. Buy soap. Pay bills. Don't die. Photochemicals. What? Ooh. Leaving photo developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. Still getting into the vibe. I'm not going to lie. Of um, reading all this out. Hard to get tired of this view. Ah, place dishes. Yes, okay. I'll wash these later. Probably not. Oh, Rodpad says, I played a wee bit of this, and the gamepad controls are sadly garbage, with a few game-breaking bugs at times, too. I'd strongly recommend using the mouse if you can. Right. Oh. Eh, eh. Ethan Robin asks a good question. Is everyone in here a raccoon? If so, does that make this place Raccoon City? Um... Ah, David Story says, nice Tarantino ref with the smokes. Red Apples are... Yeah, they're a fictional brand from Tarantino films, aren't they? I don't want to press X to resume. I'll just, yeah. There we go. Okay. Turlet. Let's go to the Turlet. Turlet books. The Great Apes. The Great Story. Swell toilet read. I, c I don't understand toilet readers. I really don't. I just It's not a place for me to relax. A place for me to do my business and get out again. <laughs> But anyway. Mm -mm -mm, Tibet cork board. That feels like everything, right? Oh, by the way, because this is, uh, you know, obviously this is a, a puzzle game of, aha, place chemicals, of course. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> because this is a game with sort of puzzle elements, uh, we're going to do what we did. We'll come back to that. Let's go see Mrs. Green. Uh, Odette appears to be some form of otter? Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Loder. We spoke on the phone. Hmm. I think we should cut straight to it. Odette is nervous. But then... Maybe this would help put a debt at ease. Hmm. Let's go for that. Oh, um, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnant. I didn't even realize she's pregnant. Pregnant. She puts pressure on the spine. And please, a debt is fine. You got it. Oh, yeah, that'll do. I don't want to pry too much. I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. I'm going to say, is he missing? Things would be simpler if he was. Then what's the deal with him? He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. You suspect he's cheating on you? Or you tried to talk to him about it? I'm going to ask, you suspect, do you suspect he's cheating on you? I think so. <sighs> Always a seedy case, isn't it? I think so, but I need real proof, right? To go to the court. Court? Are you filing for a divorce? Or? Tell me about the affair. Or? I'll get you the proof, Odette. I'm taking the case. Uh, let's see this. That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids? I can't take chances anymore. Wow. When did you realize he might be unfaithful? He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. What kind of smell? Like perfume, and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something poignant. A kind of herbal stink. Hmm. Has he been aggressive? Odette, personal details can make or break a case. Hmm, okay, all right, well, she didn't like that. Didn't like me asking if, uh, like me asking if he was aggressive. 
but it doesn't matter. I'm taking the case. Let's talk final details. What do you need to know? What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band. As far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Where would I find him? Usually, I mean. Usually, at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. I want to pick him out of a crowd. He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. What's his... Hmm. Him and any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys as they get together to work sometimes. What's his full name? Jeremy Green, and I think people at work call him Jez. Absolutely incredible. This is not the first time Jez or Jezza has come up, has it? It was uh, in, was it in Horizon Zero Dawn? The whole Jezza nonsense, anyway. Jeremy Green. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. That should be enough. It's just a matter of my fee. I'll give you a hundred now. And fifty when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Yes. Plus any unexpected expenses. It's not just my life riding on this. I can only afford one shot. What assurance can you give me that you're the right guy for the job? Wow. To be honest, I can't. All I can do is my best. I care about my clients. Your problems are my problems. I think it's a matter of trust, Odette. Do you trust me? Real name R says, Jez is not the name of a faithful otter. Hmm, agreed. I have no choice. My life is on the line, she says. And yet she balked when we asked if he was dangerous. We'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Well, well. New objective, A. Track Jeremy Green and find evidence of his infidelity that Odette could use in court. So, um, firstly, enjoying this. Second, let's go catch a sleaze bag. Thirdly, uh, we're going to do the same protocol that we did when I played a monster's expedition through puzzling... E a, monster's ex a monster's expedition through puzzling exhibitions, which is to say... While playing this game, I might ask things out loud, like, where am I supposed to be going, or what am I supposed to be doing? I'm not actually asking chat to answer those questions. They are all rhetorical, unless I ask them in a French accent. Got it? So, if I'm like, oh, where am I supposed to be going? Don't answer that. If, however, I say, oh, where am I supposed to be going? Tell me, tell me, tell me what you think. Understood? Okay, let's, let's go and find an otter. We're off to Granville, everybody. Lenorn says, do you want to pin that sentiment? That's a very good point. Hello. I was into that. That was pretty great. That was wonderful. Right. Just going to pause this for a sec. Jack Wood says, oh, this music is good. It really is. A reminder. No backseat. Gaming. Please, if I need help, I will ask for it in a French accent yes really pin message okie dokie now we got that out of the way let's get back to the case this is great granville smells like wet concrete overpriced fast food and puke my kind of battleground Furman and sons very good Lawyer's office. Hold shift to run. Okay. Whoop. 
Well, 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 if it isn't Anatoly the Beaver. The day I bought a bike, Citizen Maine. Very good. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to on a fine evening like this? <laughs> My beaver. Um, hey, Anatoly, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? You know, I have a terrible memory for faces, but hey, you want to hear a great story? Do we want to hear the, the beaver's story or do we want to crack on with the case? Just going to wait for chat. Oh, Granville is apparently like Grandville. Says video games are cool, right? I've never been to Toronto, so I, you know, I don't know. Story time, everyone says. Um, sure. So my wifey, Estrella, and I, bless the shepherd, we got a second lad on the way. Oh, congratulations. Thanks, he's a big one, too. Essie is round as a watermelon. Anyway, the story, <laughs> I tell her, <laughs> you woman, woman, you get any bigger, and <laughs> I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Why is, why is he just, just doing things kind of mean? And so, haha, <laughs> she just turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, Give me the bread, honey. <laughs> oh, boy. Women. Man. Yeah, okay. Women. Mysterious creatures. They love bread. <laughs> uh, I, ju I just have one question. So I... Uh, listen to me. Wait. Have I missing... Right. Oh, my God. Sorry, I had to fast forward through some of that because he wouldn't shut up. And now listen to him. Spit it out, man. Um, Burrito has done a super chat saying, um, your role as the French new metal monk in Oxventure is one of the funniest I've seen recently. Cheers, Johnny. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed that. Okay. Real name R says, okay, maybe we shouldn't have listened to the beaver. Agreed. Right. Oh, the, po the poor lass. Well, spit it out, man. What's he look like? Is he from round here? Definitely from Toronto, that one. Here's a picture. You seen him recently by any chance? Yeah, I seen him. Barrel of laughs kind of guy. Smell? Really bad. Took him back from the bite a couple of times. He smelled? What exactly? Oh, you know, a poopy kind of smell. <laughs> Stale booze and perfume. Herbs. Awful. Awful stuff. Did he have a talk? Did he mention anything that seems strange? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. He smelled it enough talking for the both of us. Ha! Any idea where he'd be now? Guess the bite is as good a place as any. It's a goopy place, though, huh? Thanks, Anatoly. You're a detective's best friend. My regards to Australia. Take care, my man. Bye. Anatoly, please. Oh, what's this? They did a great they did a great job restoring the vote the rogue. If more people if people watch more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. Canines. Cocktails in a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. Dr. Cyclops, this is lovely. <gasps> Woofbank. Woofbank is where he works. Ooh. Eden Simmons is playing at the Bite Club. Woofbank. Is this where Green works? There's a banker here. Well, well, well. Yeah. You folks work at the Woofbank, right? Yeah, why? Take a look at this photo. You seen this man recently? Or we can say, is Jez around? Is Jez around? And who are you? Ooh, I don't really want to admit that I'm a PI. 
None of your business. Ooh. This is, uh... This is escalating quickly. Hey, Jim, don't get excited. Are you looking for trouble? Do you? Because I could give it to you. Yeah, fuck it. Listen, Lumpy. Better split before I wash your face, right-o? Uh, let's, let's see how far this goes. Cruising for a bruising, brother? Cut the gas, asswipe. What do you say, boys? Should we give this one a good beating, eh? You're one hip cat. You got the guts to face me without your boys? You better get ready, jerk. I'm about to give you a fucking ticket to across the wall. Yeah? Aren't your claws manicured? You're not worth it. Come on, boys. This striper will find his end soon enough. That's what I thought. Damn it. Well, that could have gone better. Pumph. Yeah, can't talk to him anymore. Who is... What, what manner of... Cre oh, is that a plague doctor selling grilled fish, shrooms, and veggies? Aches. Well, well, if it isn't the bite. I definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. <laughs> wouldn't want to. <laughs> Aiden Folk says, is this about to turn into a turn-based RPG? This is the thing. I kind of wanted to see what would happen if I took it that far. All right. I guess I see why this place is called The Bite. Uh, no entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. I'd be more careful with my mouth if I were you, tiny striper man. All right. See ya. Alleyway? Yes. Let's go to the alleyway. Oh, this... Ooh. Okay. Here's Larry. Oh, no. This one's being sick. Let's not talk to them. Let's talk to Larry. Howard! Well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Larry, what are you doing here? Oh, hold on a minute, Larry. I have a super chat. Moentag has done a super chat saying just off the phone and I've got a job in theatre after interviewing everywhere for over a year. Thanks, Johnny, for all the hopeful vibes. Right raccoon on. Congratulations, Moentag. That's wonderful. Um, I can't imagine what over a year of interviewing must have been like, but I'm glad it all paid off. That is genuinely wonderful news. Congratulations. Um, okay. Do we ask Larry how Larry is doing? Or do we say, I'm doing okay, I'm looking for someone? What do we reckon? I really feel like bantering with the first one is quite the um, the way to go. Let's go with, um, I'm looking for someone. Still got the, wait, how was, still, forgotten Larry's voice. Still got the detective gig? Yeah. You seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. Ah, like they do. What's he like? Here's a photo. Haven't seen him. Sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and I hear people talk. Well, I've got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. Mirror, really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter? That's weird. Have any ideas of how I could get in? What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't exactly know what his, de his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? Or how does... how Or why would he help? What do we reckon? What do we reckon, everybody? One or two? You, you, you're allowed to answer that one. Oh, everyone's enjoying who is Johnny. I know, Meta. Whoa, Meta says Eki to Source. One, says Arcadia. Right, fine. Yeah, let's find out what sort of stuff Johnny pushes. Apart from their own YouTube channel. 
Your typical, like Hype and Shatterfang. Oh, get this, he started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Monkey Butt. Yeah, word is the new thing's the shit. Though perhaps a bit less figurative than one might wish. <laughs> Stanky thing. Does it kind of have kind of a herbal stink? No first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. And you think this Johnny guy had help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. What do you know about the bite? Owners of Bloodworth, so lots of rumours floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth? The Bear family? Crime family. Last year, head of the family up and died, and shit hit the fan. Air ended up in prison. What's the deal with the owner? People say she's taking back the whole operation piece by piece, starting with the bite. The current owner is now ahead of the family? Yeah, she's the illegitimate daughter or something. Whoa. What are the rumours? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. How she's got an ape for a lover. Or that she was the one who got all the others killed so she could take over. All right, hopefully that's enough to get me into the bite. Thanks. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you. Oh, stop being sick. Intercom. No answer. No answer. I'm not not dressed like Jeremy Corbyn, am I? I've got that kind of hardened frown as well, as if to say, shut up, I'm at the dispatcher's box. Knife Cat says, ah, Larry, singing like a canary. All right. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, yeah, look at this. Um, I, know, I know this from the development, but you see how one of my ears has a piece missing? Like I've been in, in fights before. <laughs> Jack Wood says, no clarky cat. <laughs> Thunder Cookie says, now I'm worried. Also, I think Odette won't like what we'll dig up on Jeremy. No, I don't think so either. All right, let's go find Johnny and persuade him to get me into the bite. $14.99 for a trim. I'll stick to the mirror, a pair of scissors, and a large whiskey. <gasps> There's a crouch mode. Oh, yeah, I don't want them to see me in case, what, they... Insist on giving me a trim? Ah, oh, crap. Downey's on duty on the booth up ahead. I can't deal with him right now. Do, 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 do. Oh, I could talk to talk to Downey, though. Okay. Quico Mart! Hee 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 hee, look at the little possum in the window. On the poster. This game is gorgeous. Like, even the water puddling in the road is bloody lovely. Octo-chan raises a good question, but how much did that whiskey cost? For the heck? I mean, $15 would buy you a, more than one large glass of whiskey if you're buying from, like, a liquor store, right? I mean, normally, at, um, at around the halfway point in the stream, I go grab a beer, but the temptation to grab an enormous whiskey just for this game is quite strong. Um, Aiden folks, presumably talking about the uh, Stay Vigilant booth, says that looks a bit fascist. Mm. Oh, Sarah Francis says, extra glad for a stream today. Next Friday was meant to be my last day working at a special needs school, but COVID means it had to shut today. Gutted I didn't get to say bye to colleagues or the kids. Oh, that really sucks. I'm sorry, Sarah. That is not fun. Um, especially, yeah, when I'm sure you've built up relationships with all of those people. Let's talk to Bo. Let's see if Bo can um, make us all feel better. Oh, good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news. Anything good happening for a change? For a loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. I just want the headline. 
Front pages today are all grey paint parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. How's business anyway? Well, you, you tell me. People want their damn news for free and only damn hawkers don't help any. Hawkers? You know, peddlers. They haul their rickety ass stands around, hassling folks, and all with no permit. Why does it bother you so much? No permit means they can undercut honest business and lot myself. They're criminals. The police booth is right there. I've tried reporting them, but by the time an officer gets here, the hawkers are smoke. Damn their nimble little legs. I yeah, gotcha. I better go then. Yeah, you go. I'm busy. That rodent hawk will be arriving any minute now. I need to make sales. Wow, I can call him an entitled prick if I want. No, I'm not going to do that. I'll oh, cheer up, though. You have at least one loyal customer. Shift Shift asks if the hawkers are real hawks. Hmm. Well, how about you buy something then? I've got nibbles, fizzy drinks, something for everyone. Actually, just remembered I've got to run. I'll try and come by later, though. Oh, loyal customer, my house. Get out of here. Well, excuse me. Bye, Bo. Jamie Christensen has uh, entered the chat, says, Hello, what, have I, what on earth did I stumble into here, lol? Welcome. We are playing Backbone. Uh, we are playing as this raccoon in the corner who's doing a strange dance. Um, he's a private detective. Currently, we are trying to find uh, Jeremy Green, whose wife Odette, a pregnant otter, suspects that he is being unfaithful. Um... It is likely he is around The Bite, which is a club. Uh, unfortunately, raccoons such as myself are not allowed in. So we need to find somebody called Johnny and persuade him to get us into The Bite. Um, uh, I didn't really plan on doing it, but I apparently am reading out everything in, um, in, a, in voices. So, you know. We've gone as far as we can go here, though. Ah, yes. Let's have a look in there. <gasps> Let's see. Socks. Take away boxes. Sigs. Aha! A ticket to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. Yeah. Foxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora who then puked all over my new coat. Ah. Memories. Ooh. Yeah, there's a place called So So. Very good. There's a place in Angel called So Fantastic. Um, next to a taxidermy place that has an incredible name. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, damn it. Uh, it will come back to me. Maybe. Mackenzie and Sons, eh? Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Mankoy says, looking in the trash, don't stoop to stereotypes. I am a raccoon. In fairness. Can we go into Quico Mart? Quico Mart. Old owner is still tending to the shop. I should say bye before he gets driven out by Yumi Mart. Or is that Yummy Mart? Maybe next time. I mean, we could try talking to Downey. It doesn't feel like we've got much else. Oh, we've got a ticket now to the bite, but that won't get us in, will it? I have the ticket right here. Oh, I can't remember this guy's voice. What is this? <laughs> You're a funny little fella. That's it. Chris Stevens has remembered. It's called Get Stuffed, the uh, taxidermy stuff, uh, taxidermy place. This is very, very funny. Real name R says Johnny is going to be two for two and getting me to buy the game they're streaming. Well, it's on Game Pass, bizarrely. Um, so can I get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster, so nah. Well, thanks for a good laugh. You want to hear another joke? No, don't test my patience. A bear and a raccoon walk into a bar. Fuck off! You're no fun. Bye. Aww. Oh. Adam Conti has done a super chat saying, Finally caught alive. I've been a huge fan of yours over the years. Thank you for all the laughs. Thank you very much for the kind words in the super chat. Um, that is very nice. I'm glad to have been of service over the years. And hopefully I can continue to do so for years to come. Right. 
I mean, I'm not talking to Anatoly again. A squirrel. Wonder if this is Johnny. Yo, old man. <laughs> you Johnny? Who's asking? Oh, God. Not a fan of that voice. Yikes. Um... Again with the Wallace thing. I'm Howard Lota. Pleased to meet you. Fitting name. Well, I was going to make him like... What should we make him? It was going to be like a... Who's asking? Who's that wise guy? Ah, blah, blah, blah. Why? Mark S says, Oh, is this game set in Vancouver? Sorry, I'm late to join the stream. Yes. Um, it is set in uh, Vancouver. Snake from The Simpsons. Yes. Okay. Fitting name for a grown-ass dude in a trench coat. What do you need? I need to get into the bite. I'll bet you do, pal, but why should I care? I heard they sell monkey butt through you. The fuck? Where'd you get that stupid idea, Striper? Just a rumor that's going around. So will you help me out? Look, old man. <laughs> Look, old man. You couldn't handle that stuff even if I did have it. But you know where to get it. To square things between me and the bouncer. Or, hey kid, just get me into the bite, will ya? Or, third option, get me past the bouncer. I'll owe you. We're going, one, just get me into the bite. Two, you know where to get it, just square things between me and the bouncer. Or three, get me past the bouncer. Personally, I think two. But, um... Uh... Oh, Mankoy said they're Johnny, just use your own voice. Dang it. Yeah, uh, I think two is maybe the best option, but I'm willing to listen to other opinions. Oh, quite a few people straight out of the gate saying, go with three. Quite a few more saying two. No one wants option one. That's good news. Okay, I think it's more twos than it is threes. All right. Thanks, everybody. But you know where to get it. To square things between me and the bouncer. Hank doesn't let any old chump in for good reason. Say I make you simpatico. What does Johnny get in return? Ugh. Johnny uh, talks in the third person. Ugh. Okay. I think two is probably best here. Like, blackmailing Johnny's not going to help. Uh, and offering Johnny nothing is not going to help. But offering a favor. <laughs> Will says that was 100% the right choice based on just on the word simpatico. Uh, let's go with two. Oh, but wait. But wait. Maybe he won't like a detective being mentioned. I mean, he'll he'll prefer. Yeah, Mankois is saying you're a detective seems dodgy, but it's not as bad as saying I'm going to get the cops involved. And also, Johnny's not the mark. Johnny doesn't have to be concerned, and we're offering Johnny a favor. I'm going to hit two. You're shitting me. Prove it, punk. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Yes, so all I see is a filthy trash mobster who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his mama too. And the trench coat is just the final pitiful cherry on top of a crap cake. Wow, that did not go the way I thought it was going to go. Adam Conti says two is a flex, lol. I agree with you, Adam, but Johnny's not buying it. Weird hearing that from a fellow with so much fur gel that he literally sticks to the walls, don't you find? Shut your mouth, or I'll stuff your trash tail in it. Cripes. Okay, this has gone places, and I do feel like we need to walk it back. 
Let's not talk about his mama. Let's not call him ugly. <sighs> Although Octo Chan says stay on the offensive, Wheel is voting one. Number two is flirty. Ethan Robin says no, escalate. All right, one, two, or three. Aiden Folk says, I wonder if you can blow the case so badly you have to try again. Insult him, be nasty, dig that hole. Number two is definitely flirty. I... You've kind of convinced me. Let's talk about his mama. Hmm. A lot of people saying two, though, which is also in insulting. All right, let's go with number two. <laughs> You're so ugly when you're angry. When in doubt, flirt, says Cookie Hat 94 Fair enough. That didn't go badly. Stop chatting about my face. Don't look at it. Martin Cox says he's ashing into his wine bottle. Disgusting. Someone in that club needs my help. Do you understand that concept? So you're a good Samaritan? Uh, no, wait. So you're a good Samaritan? Who's going to save your dumb ass? Not that I give two fucks. Just, ugh. I'll talk to Hank. Fuck off now. That wasn't so hard, was it? All right. Talk to Hank. Who's Hank? Oh god, Anatoly, not again. Oh, okay, that's a bunny. You see here, this this lady right next to me? I thought that was a dolphin's head, which is nightmarish. Shift Shift says, I've had worse first dates. <laughs> wow. Jack Wood says, uh, once again, flirting badly wins the day. Yep. Lacroix Boy Mark says, Johnny, brackets, not human one, <laughs> is a bit of a try-hard edgelord. Thank you very much for uh, making that distinction there between the um, animal and human ones. There's a horse upstairs writing a letter, I presume. And there are some pigeons. Does that mean that pigeons aren't sentient and citizens in this? We'll never know. There's Hank. And there's Squirrel. So, talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? Hi, Hank. Uh, what do you want? Here's Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Oh, you brought my favorite customer, Striper. You can come in. Don't cause any trouble. Thanks. We're in, everybody. Ooh! Look at this! You've got... What is that? King Charles Spaniel dancing... very badly in front of the stage. That fits with King Charles Spaniels in my estimation. Got a German Shepherd there. Ears back, looking nervous. Here's a uh, a small. What is that? A um, Pekingese? No. In the in, you in the purple dress at the bar. What are you? I can't remember. Pomeranian. You look like a pom. This game's great. There's a fox there. All right, let's keep a low profile. Too low, that is conspicuous as hell. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. All a little too high end for my taste. Rene? Well, you're unusual. 
I'll take that as a compliment. As you will. Though it was just an observation. Renee Wilson. Howard Lotor. Hmm. That's a fake name. You're too young for a Howard. I'm calling it. That's a line. You would have said that no matter what name I gave. You're quick. You're a wit. I guess that's that makes us even. Take my card. Investigative journalist? It's a living. Usually. Do we ask? Thunder Cookie says that's funny. Renard is French for fox. I did know this. Hmm. Do we ask about the otter gentleman? I do feel... Hayden folks says I take it that genetic compatibility is not a problem in this universe. But who knows? Do we... The thing is, Renee Wilson is allegedly an investigative journalist. And putting the investigative journalist onto the fact that the otter's in trouble might be a bad idea. But then Andrew Balfour does say Renee is definitely being flirty right now. So, it'd be nice to keep the conversation going, I guess. One or two, chat. One or two. Oh gosh, I hope I don't get a copyright strike on this stream. Uh, it's a pretty even split. Oh, cripes. Um, I'm going to go with one think there are marginally more ones than not. I'm also just going to check the settings, audio. Okay, well, there's no mute licensed music option. So if there is licensed music, it's happening either way. Colby, A. Eh? Hey there. <laughs> no. Um, hey there. You here for Eden Simmons show too? I'm so happy to see her live, finally. Ah, let's cut straight to the chase. Uh, photo. Oh, I don't know. Maybe, but I wasn't paying close attention. I couldn't be sure. Oh, well. Did you say Eden Simmons is playing? Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. What makes her great? She's an incredible vocalist. She also plays everything herself. Brings a record for live shows. So talented. Does she play here often? From time to time. I like the place. It's very classy and the food is great. You've been here before. Hey, nah. My mum doesn't approve of the place. Had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. Funny, and something we have in common. Oh, color me intrigued. If not for the music, what are you sneaking around for? Can you keep a secret? Oh, is she a Shiba Inu, says uh, Emma Benton. Maybe. Coffee Snob says that background dancer has an interesting style. Yes, indeed. I would call it bad. Yes, sir. Oh, I can just show with the photo again. I'm looking for a man. Here's his photo. Wait, why is that a secret? I'm a private investigator. I'm working a case right now. No way. I never would have guessed. What's the case? It's important. And her church. In from him. Secret. Let me think. Well, well, well. A little bit of flirting goes a long, long way. I think I saw someone like that. Was his hat green? Oh, yes, and so was his tie. I thought that was funny. Hmm. Did you see where he went? He talked to the lady in the jade-colored dress and then went upstairs, I think. Hmm. And did they have a briefcase? Did he have a briefcase with him? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Thanks, and enjoy the show. <laughs> Octo Chan says a little bit of intrigue as a treat. Mm. Oh, good. The dev webpage says it's an original soundtrack. Thank you for checking, Aiden, folks. 
Well, 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 if it isn't a... Uh, what kind of dog is that? They sort of look like ghosts as they walk along. Oh, well, let's just talk to her. Ingrid. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Evening, sugar. <laughs> I can't do it. Enjoying yourself? Hmm. I don't think that Afghan Hound, that's what I was thinking of, uh, Jack Wood. Uh, I don't think lying to this Ingrid straight off the bat is a good idea. So I might just go with in here. How could I not be? We aim to please. Hmm. So, you work here. Sure, honey, but not the likes of you. For the, 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 the VIPs, then. For a certain class of customer. Dedicated ones. And what is dedication, then? You tell me. Better yet, come back when you know. But I'm actually here to meet with a friend. How touching. They're regular? Jeremy? He's usually here like clockwork. Maybe I've seen him. What's he like? Green tie, green hat, glasses. Sounds more like you're describing a wanted man. We should have just said he was an otter. Shit. Ingrid's good. Ingrid's sharp. All right. Help me out, chat. Uh, do I... Uh, <laughs> do I continue the lie or do I break and say I'm an investigator? Personally, I think that's going to make Ingrid clam up. But then I think she's going to quite easily see through the, uh, for drinks lie. So, what do we reckon? Octo-chan says she's as sharp as her face. HC Bird says she's on point. Understand the cover. We don't want clams. Well, she want heat in her club. Too smart to lie to. Too smart to lie to. She's got you, play it straight, break the lie, she's already onto you. She's onto you, open up, be honest. Two, 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 one, stay in the cover. Two, two, one, two. Don't admit you're an investigator chatting up the gatekeeper to a drug den. Will says she's connected, right? Mm. She is connected. Knife Cat makes a good point. At best, she can tell you're lying, but not about what. <sighs> I think that's a very good point. Let's lie. We can always we can always admit the truth later, but we can't lie again once we've admitted it. For drinks could try asking the bartender or Ms. Bloodworth. Thanks for your time, Ms. Or buy you a drink while I'm at it. Or Bloodworth. Is she the manager? Or I will do. Martin Cox says, yeah, but a Columbo, uh, but a raccoon comes in dressed like Columbo and you're going to expect some Columboing to happen. Why didn't I go for a Columbo voice? Oh, thanks for your time, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> Call me Ingrid, Mr. Uh, how rude of me. Wallace. Uh, just, no, just Mr. will do. Or maybe I say Howard. Oh, I'm sorry, everyone. I, di I, I didn't buy a drink. I should have flirted. You're right. Uh, how rude of me. Wallace. Mr. Wallace, I hope we see you again soon. Hey, goodbye. Hey, just one more thing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's listen to some music, I guess. Oh. Oh, man, my posture's terrible. <laughs> Straighten your back, Howard. All right, this is going to shred my throat, probably, but I'm going to try and call on by the rest of this.
<laughs> the way she flirts. It's brilliant. Uh, flirts, dances. Freudian. Clarissa? Well, perhaps she can explain it all. Oh, Hank, come on, man. You're breaking my balls. All right, I guess we talked to Clarissa. You look a little lost. Is that obvious? Or I'm exactly where I need to be. I'm exactly where I need to be. How confident. I don't recognize you. Not a troublemaker, are we? No, I'm just trying something new for a change. <laughs> or do I look like a troublemaker to you? I haven't seen Columbo in so long, I don't know if that's actually in any way a good voice or not. Nope, I'm just trying something new for a change. How's that working out for you? Why, the calculated interest. Or, pretty well. I'm enjoying the conversation, at least. That's that. The feeling is mutual. So to whom do I owe the pleasure? Is it Columbo or Mo Sislak? <laughs> Thanks, Will. Uh, just needs more scratching your forehead with the back of your thumb. There we go. Oh, okay. All right, blah, blah. Uh, the demo fox has done a super chat saying, "How do you know that dancing isn't also flirting?" It's pretty good. It's a pretty good point, actually. Um, mostly because I I'm bad at dancing, so I've never flirted, but via dancing. That's not true, but I've not. I've, rarely has it been successful. I guess is what I'm saying there. Emma Venton says, "Who is Columbo?" Oh, I thought I thought that would have landed. Um, is a a, a, a TV. Uh, uh, detective whose thing was always like turn around being like just one more thing if you don't mind um, <laughs> at least he didn't do Kabumbo um, but the funny thing is the actor is Peter Falk wasn't it um, also basically played a spoof of Columbo in the deeply problematic film Murder by Death um, which I have seen and I'm kind of basing the voice more on that. So it's more like I'm basing my voice on Peter Falk pretending to be himself being Columbo, which is very weird. Anyway. Oh, my name's Howard Lola. I'm a private investigator. No, or ladies first. Or I'm Wallace. Nice to meet you. I'm not going to give out a different name. I'm, I'm going to go straight with this one. How exciting. Are you here on business? I'm following a lead. Perhaps you can answer a couple of questions. I don't think so. I would have to ask you to leave. And who are you? Ah, shit. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bikes. <laughs> now, you were leaving. This is not at all suspicious. Maybe I'll see you around. Or I think I'll stay. Octo-chan says Columbo's thing was being disarmingly goofy and then asking extremely pointed questions. There we go. That's it. Oh, did I accidentally give out? Creeperistics says two people now have different names for you. I thought I'd been consistent. I think I'll stay. Oh, shit. And I'm afraid I must insist. Or should I ask Hank to insist and said he can be so persuasive when he's angry? Fine. Point taken. CookieCat94 says, see, had you flirted, this wouldn't be a problem. I, do, you, do I look like someone who's good at flirting? Fine. Point take. Don't worry, Mr. Loter. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again soon. I'm sure we will. Goodbye, Clarissa. You done goofed, says HC Bird. Yup. Is that game over? New objective. Find a way back inside the bite! Shit! Clarissa Bloodworth, what's her deal? I need to find another way in. I guess we're going back down the alley. Hi, Larry. I got kicked out. I think I poked the bear. Oh, Howard, how did you manage that? Oh, it doesn't matter. So they use the back door for deliveries, right? 
Now, hold up. You said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. And you told me you had no first-hand experience with monkey butt. People don't change, Larry. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have brought that up. No, you're right. Probably reek of the stuff, too. Ah, listen, I'm no one to judge. I'm just trying to explain. Don't explain things to me, Howard. I'm happy to help, but this is where we draw the line. Well, I hear you. How do I get back in? The truck over there just arrived, and some fellows entered through the back door. Also heard voices coming from the roof, so they must have a door up there. Tell me about the door on the rooftop. Well, most of these old buildings have one. The problem is, how are you going to get on the roof? Is there a fire escape? <laughs> you could give me a lift. No, nah, no fire escape, and the bite is too high. Are there any smaller structures you could climb first? Ah, oh, the press stand. Whoa there! That could work. Start with the press stand, go to Mackenzie, and proceed along the roofs. But you should know that Bo is kind of a dick nugget. <laughs> That's the most accurate description of Bo I've ever heard in my life. You're welcome. Anyway, I'd suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up for it. Uh, tell me about the back door. They have a little intercom box. You ring, they pick up, and if you're someone they're expecting, they buzz you in. Uh, do you have any clue on how I could become someone they're expecting? No idea. Maybe they have some sort of code? You're the detective, not me. Aye, right, thanks for your help, Frank. Goodbye. Right, we'll save the intercom for when we inevitably get kicked out again. But first, we must go talk to Bo or whatever. Cyborg Penguin says, since Will mentioned Mo, all I hear is Professor Frank. Fair. I'm the fight with the... Who are you, small child? Sid. Feeling peckish? <laughs> I've got sweet and savoury. You can mix and match. Bake your own trail mix. How about it? Oh, do you have unshelled pumpkin seeds? Of course. Got salted and unsalted. East bag is worth ha a half loon. But I'll give you three for a loon. It's a steal. Just one. Is, um, your name really Sid now? Say, do you hang around Granville often? I'm here from time to time. Can I help you with something, sir? I need to find a way into the bite. The fancy jazz bar, I've sued you for the blur. Got kicked through, out through the front door. Now you're itching to ask something. Go ahead. Um, why'd you get kicked out, sir? They didn't like that I was snooping around. Why were you snooping around? Stop, stop, stop. Stop telling everyone your private eye. Met someone special, they're inside the bar. A love story. I love love. I'll tell you more if you tell me how to get in. Have we been on the rooftops? Alright, the kid wasn't that useful. And my throat is starting to hurt. Maybe we'll we'll go back to the old the old voice. Columboing it for a bit was fun. But we'll just go back to being sort of vaguely normal again. Uh, oh shit, what was Bo's voice? Back, back so soon? What now? Don't climb me, don't mind me, I just need to climb the stand. Absolutely not. Do you know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good condition? What if I could offer something in return? Now that you mention it, maybe you could help out with the little issue I've been having. Spill it. I need that seed-selling pika hawker off Granville. Can you do that? I don't know, but that's... That's not what I do. Stretch back. Mine, yours. Oh, shit. You're lucky I'm desperate. Wish me luck. Damn it. Aiden Folk says Bo sounds like the executioner from Blazing Saddles. No noose is good noose. All right, Sid. Hey, Sid, not quite. I have a strange favor to ask. What's up? Could you leave Granville? At least for tonight. Um, I'd rather not. Thing is, Granville's a great sales spot this time of night. 
Bo wants you off his turf. Oh, well, of course he does. He, wait. Oh, well, of course he does. He thinks uh, uh, we're rivals. Well, screw him. What did he promise you? To allow me to climb his press stand. Excuse me? Why? It's for my job. Secrets, fine. But how about we get rid of Bo instead? What do we reckon, chat? Do we get rid of Bo or do we get rid of Sid? Bo or Sid? Shift Shift says, dun dun, double cross. Martin Cox says, new kid or pompous rabbit man? Aiden Folk says, how does that help you? Mancoy says, get rid of Bo. Creeperistic says, Bo. Bo is a bit of a dick. I like Sid. The crowd select Bo. Get rid of Bo. Bo. Octo-chan wants me to investigate the alley some more, which I will not be doing unless I ask about this in a French accent. Emma Benton says, I don't know what Bo's done, but I'll go with Bo. All right. Both and claim the newspaper monopoly for yourself. Cyborg Penguin, I like the way you think. I'm listening. Bo thinks he owns Granville because he has a paid up permit spot. I'm just playing the hand I've been dealt. My mum and I built this cart with our bare hands. I'm just trying to help my family. Where's this going? Bo's a bigot. He hates my guts because I'm a young rodent boy doing better than him. I'm a good boy. What's the kicker? Did you know Bo sells adult magazines? Very naughty, illegal ones. Let him know you know. You know? We've come this far. Do you think he'll buy it? He'll blink. Anything protect to protect his precious permit. Let's team up. We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm not going to call him partner. Let's get this bully off Granville. That's what I like to hear, mister. Go talk to him. I will bow to the shepherd for you. What does that mean? Okay, bye. Let's go blackmail a rabbit. Talking about pornography. Hey. Martin Cox says, how could you not want a rodent kid sidekick? Rodents don't live that long. That's how I would, you know, that would be my main concern. Well, did you get rid of that parasite? I think you should leave, Bo. <laughs> what? I had a rumor. There's a police raid coming up. A raid? I'm a law-abiding citizen. You're a pawn dealer, Bo. I'm a hard-working business owner. How dare you accuse me? I will not stand for this. Do we threaten the police or just tell them to wrap up for today to be safe? Nick Jeffrey's done a super chat saying, Happy Thursday, Johnny. Just got here after work. Have I missed anything? And if anyone is investigated, it should be Tom Nook's Evil Empire. Indeed. Um, you have uh, not missed loads. We're trying to get back into a club. We got kicked out of it. We're trying to find an otter who's allegedly cheating on his wife, but may be involved in some sort of drug called monkey butt. Uh, yeah, Will makes a good point. Says, uh, just reminds me of the time, which is, uh, 13, 12, and, uh, says, tell him to wrap up. You better wrap up for today, just, just to be safe. During my peak performance hours, so you could climb my kiosk, you sneaky bastard? Is that it? Now. What do we say? Do we say, yes, you guessed it? Do we say it's not about me, it's about justice? I mean, that's a horrible, horrible move, isn't it? It's not about me. It's about justice. You! Everything is always about you! Going around snitching on people, getting on their nerves, undercutting honest businessmen like myself! 
If you don't snitch, Sid will. And who said he won't tomorrow? Degenerates ruined my whole evening. What a treat to live a lawful life among trash like you. Ah, oh, shit. That's just rude. I'm calling the police. How is it? Wait, I'll leave. Asshole. Damn you. And your whole kind. I would feel bad about actually threatening to call the police on him, but he just said, and your whole kind, which I think really reveals who Bo is deep down. So, not bothered, actually. Bye. Climb. Climb. Don't mind me. <laughs> Mankoy says, Bo's a racist, so I think that was the right choice. Yeah. Oh, the roof of Foxy Burger is quite ablaze. Oh, no, wait. Who's the top dog now, Foxy Burger? Suck it. <laughs> I love this. This is great fun. Also, I really, like... It's partly because I'm reading everything out, so I'm playing a bit slower than I normally would if I was just reading and playing by myself. But I do really want to move through this world slowly because it's just so beautiful. And the music is just like... I mean, let's... Yeah. Damn. What a view. Guess there are benefits to risking your life on rain-slicked rooftops. Boop. Boop. Don't mind me, boys. Quico Mart wants to get these vines sorted before they start pulling apart the masonry. Will says, oh no, is this game doing the animal species as an allegory for race thing? Uh -huh. Possibly. It's, I mean, it doesn't seem like it isn't so far, but I guess we'll see in the fullness of time. Wish I could just stay here. Maybe the pigeons would accept me as one of their own. You don't mean that. Well, 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 if it isn't the bite. Oops. All right, Green. After all that, you better be in here, you bastard. At least we're upstairs now. Wonder if we were meant to get kicked out. Let's be a crouch. A dressing room. I think Shepherd is empty. Okay, no turning back now. Inspect mirror table. Pops, eh? Nope, nothing I can move around there. Come on, Howard. You can do this. You're doing this. Some honey for your tea. Mum swears by it. Greg. Who's Greg? Nice fella. All right. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Press Kataral to crouch. Enemies can't hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Oh, wait. Very good point. Are those dot symbols are inter of interactivity? Interactivity? Okay, now. Yes! Margot Moore is everywhere right now. Fierce lady. Not really my type, though. Happy birthday, Rose. Hope they gave you a day off. Nothing pops in the mouth like pops candy. Good. Nicely wrapped gift. Mine usually came in recycled newspaper. Oh shit. Clem has done a super sticker of. Wow, that's. What the hell? It is um, a hippopotamus wearing. either like a singlet or some sort of harness. But basically, what it does is it's got one arm up. Like, it's got it down here, 
as it goes like mm, and then it lifts it up and kind of does that i don't know if that's meant to be like a kind of thing or if it's a hippo wanking off their own forearm but um oh tactical hippo it's, it's doing army moves johnny not that okay Oh, it's saying this way. And then it is definitely wanking off its forearm, though. It's a hippo cosplaying a solid snake. Well, good to know. Anyway. Let's, um... <laughs> Jamie Christensen says he's trying to be stealthy, but he's dummy thick. Uh, Colonel, I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm dummy thick. The clap from my ass cheeks keeps alerting the guards. Okay, so... It's uh, Oddworld stealth rules, is it? Crouchy, crouchy. And then when we're behind objects, here we go. Just gotta keep my profile low and take a peek into one of the rooms. Jez must be in there. Oh. Uh, Burrito has done a super chat saying, Hey Johnny, wanted to ask as much as you care to share, are there any video game journalists you like, admire, follow, or recommend? Thanks for your time. Lemons are still canceled, especially if they have knees. Well, indeed. Uh, thank you, Burrito, for a very generous super chat. Um, yes, there are uh, video game journalists I like, admire, follow, and recommend. Uh, I mean, obviously, I spent a long time working at Eurogamer. I think there are some phenomenal talents there. I think, like, Wesley and Paul is amazing for writing news, and Tom Phillips as well, who's sort of been made in Wes's mold and is now a phenomenal journalist in his own right and has been for years. Christian Donlin obviously does some incredible features um, and things like that. Um, what about further afield? Um, I think um, Melindy is a tremendous writer. Uh, I think she's really great, as is Alice Bell of Rock, Paper, Shotgun. Gosh, this is annoying because there are lots of people that I interact with frequently. And it is... Oh, Bratters, says uh, says Will, of course. How could I ever forget uh, Chris Bratt, who is genuinely, utterly wonderful. And, like, um, I think people make games, make some of the most interesting stuff out there. I think, like, just genuinely, like, genuinely wonderful stuff. Um, in terms of just, like, good fun vibes and people that really gave me sort of the confidence to start doing this for myself and sort of step away from, like, capital J journalism into just sort of twatting about online. Uh, RKG are absolutely um, absolutely like up there. They're wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful people. Anyway, let's sneak around. Bye, enemy thing. That's some sort of pig. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm hidden. Phew! Oh, no. Cody Wilson's done a super sticker of the lemon holding a parcel behind its back and then going oh to the small lime child creature that goes like jumping up and down being like I want the present so that's that's what that super sticker is oh looks like we might be able to get into this room maybe yes private room why is my phone still going well, well, well. Damn. Did I miss him? Maybe he left something behind that could help a debt. <gasps> a green hat. Green must have been here. Now, where's the rest of him? There's a green tie stuck behind the frame. How did it get there? Probably sex. <laughs> Is this monkey butt? It really does stink like a butt. Is that all we can take? Or all we can see? What is that? What the? <gasps> A secret lift? Oh my goodness! This has just got interesting. Um, not the son of William asks how long ago the stream started. About an hour and 20 minutes ago. Um, we're trying to find... Uh, an otter who's potentially been cheating on his pregnant wife uh, in this club called The Bite. We've snuck into it. We suspect that the otter is also taking a substance, a new horrible potent drug called Monkey Butt. And we've just found a secret lift. I, th 
Think I could squeeze into it. Not that I particularly want to, but I can't afford to be picky. Get in the lift. That's a grim looking furnace. What are they burning in there? Uh -oh. What is he burning in there? Open door. Looks like the guests of the bank are eating well. Cork board. Greg, the inventory was off again. I catch you stealing food, I'll chop off your grabby little fingers. Greg's been sneaking honey to the goyles. Intercom, eh? An open vent. I could fit through it if I crouch. What about the intercom? Well, this is dicey. What does everyone think? What do we do? Do we just leave? If you're gonna say dial somewhere, say why? Tell me why he... No, wait. Timberlake's not nice, is he? Hmm. CookieCat94 says, secret lit, so we are taking this investigation to the next level. Ekita Sauce wants packing. Ethan Robin says, maybe not since we're trying to be stealthy. The ghost of Laura Palmer says, prank call the bar and ask if their fridge is running. Lacroix Boy Mark says, dial bar, hide. When they come in, choke them out and hide them in the freezer. Yeesh. Yeah, okay, this is good. Okami says, leave until we have a plan. Octachan says, leave, we need more info. Funkstar says, we're doing a sneak. Shift Shift says, get a goal first. Oh, Timberlake is NSYNC. That was Backstreet Boys. Oh, never mind then. Tell me why. Right, let's leave. Can we can we go through the vent though? Where where is vent? Le vent. I want to squeeze through the vent. Ah. Crouching, crouching's good. Ooh. Rod Pad says, ask if there is Amanda hug and kiss in the bar. <laughs> Uh-oh. Gotta make sure I'm not seen by the guys with big knives. Smells delicious, though. Bloody hell. We're just gonna do that again? Surely that won't work. Oh god. Ah! What? Oh, I walked straight into him. Okay, fair enough. <gasps> I like the way the ladle moved on the rack. It's almost a Jurassic Park reference, that. Well, that guy's furious at that um, mixer. Hello. Don't stand up. They're re they're really uh they're really they're really on it, aren't they? Okay. I'm gonna try once more, and then I'm gonna go grab a drink because my throat hurts. So the mix is definitely an option. Me. The intercom. Intercom kitchen. Very good. 
Yes. All right, back we go. Yo, this is the kitchen. What do you need? If it's Greg, no, I'm not making you a snack. Oh, cripes. What do we reckon? Claim to be the ghost that is haunting the mixer, says the ghost of Laura Palmer. Interesting. Do we order a large pizza with pineapple on top? Or do we ask them how they're doing? Or do we tell them they suck? I say you suck. Who is this? Don't you fucking move. Oh god. I think somebody's coming. Two is is two a flirt again? Well this won't work, surely. Yeah, no, it didn't work. Okay. Intercom, please. Dal Kitchen. Let's order a large pizza with pineapple on top. Ah, shit. Wow, they were quick. <laughs> pineapple on pizza. Are you crazy? That's amazing. I guess, how are you? What the fuck? Oh, no. It's... I think it auto saved. Did it auto save when? Yes. <laughs> Insulting the chefs, it always worked. Some kind of a locker room. Better keep moving. Or. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe. You. <laughs> Brilliant. Citywide All-Stars. Tickets. Oh, we can move things. Ahahaha. Ah, ah, ah. Why do I think this might be pertinent? Maybe it won't. Oh, let's just move everything over here. I'm Gregory. La 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 la. Apply the diamonds. Six four one, Quen. Why well, you not Quen? Circle, square, diamond, triangle. I don't know if any of this is going to be useful, but Greg, the turnkey is missing again. It better be here when I get back. Freight lift. Maybe it's my ticket out of here. Seems to need a turnkey. Code lock. Boop boop boop. I don't. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. All right. Remember, everybody. Unless I ask in a French accent. I mean, okay, 6415, I guess, was, would be my guess. But there's also a, a number there, or... Ah, ha, 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 you sneaky. You sneaky. You are very sneaky, video game. It's not that. So we know there's a four in it. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, what are the symbols all about, though? Apes delight. Num num. Because how many numbers do we need? Because what is that? Uh, is that a five? V for five? But that's outside knowledge. So 
So we've got one, four, five. Oh, shh. Realize that's what that was. Ah, ha, 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 this is a key. Okay, so is that square? Square, so what is that number? No, that's not right. Or is that a zero? Oh, it's a zero. Okay. Zero. Four. Five. One. Zero, four, five, one. It's so cold down here. Where are the lights? I'll tell you where else is cold. It's the looking glass code. So it's, well, the one that I try first always. Oh, it's a reference. I did not get that. Um, right, uh, I'll tell you what else is cold. My fridge, uh, where a beer is. Uh, I, I need something to um, punch my throat because it turns out um, pretending to be Columbo for quite a long time We'll we'll do that to you. So um, uh, let's take a two minute break. Uh, I'm not even gonna. Uh, am I gonna? Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna kill my mic and I'll be back in two minutes. So be be right back. Hi hey everyone. Um, Nick Jeffries on a super chat saying, "Poor Mike, does that include killing Egbert too?" What did I miss? Dishonored and Bioshock or sees four five one or zero four five one. I think Looking Glass was first. Interesting. Ah. It's just like the room A113 for Pixar. Huh. All right. Oh, you said you would kill your mic when you left. I get it. Sorry. Yes, I meant I will cut the feed from my microphone, but yes. All right, here we go. Let's find the lights. They're not that way. <laughs> this is going to be horrible, isn't it? 
Oh, that's a gramophone. I thought for some reason it was like a plague doctor in a chair. It's just where my mind went with that one. I mean, that's not... <gasps> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, my... Oh, no, wait, that's not good. Oh, my fucking... What? Oh, shit. Is that some sort of otter? I thought this... Is that meant to be human meat as in humans are consumed in this world? That's what I assumed with this. But then also there is a dead body here. It's a naked dead otter. Fuck me. Fucking Jez. A naked dead otter, Jeremy. The corpse offers you no help. Touch the corpse. You place a finger on the corpse. It's not yet cold. Try to ascertain the cause of death. No signs, an obvious signs of violent death. Just a naked, dead, slightly overweight otter. Maybe they overdosed him. The body lies there still. It is there dead, probably murdered recently. Sniff the body. What used to be Jeremy smells like stale booze and a cheap cologne held together by a stringent herbal stink. That's enough, I'm going. New objective, escape the bite. Hide in the container, please. <laughs> this did escalate, Emma Benton. You are quite right. Oh, no. Are we really about to watch what I think we're about to watch? Oh. Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cat. Ugh. Okay, coming. Greg's not the nice person we thought Greg was. <gasps> <gasps> a turnkey maybe I'll make it out alive sorry Jez even you didn't deserve this nobody does oh no Thunder Cookie says the food is really good eh Upstairs. Oh, so that's Ape Delight. Oh, no. Okay. Use the lift. Get out of there. <laughs> Roswald Walton says, Long Otter. <laughs> Escape. I want to. I also want to have a poke around. No, it's fine. Yes, let's just get out of there. <laughs> Jamie Christensen says, hold yourself to a higher standard, Greg. Agreed. Well, that was... Gosh. And I thought I needed a beer before. Well, at least I don't feel so bad that we got kicked out of the bike, because I don't think we would have been able to get up there talking our way through. And we got an achievement. We've completed Act 1. Okay. Howard. Fuck. 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 They were butchering him. To dispose of the body? Or something worse than that. Oh, that's crazy. People don't need people. Is the bite serving people's flesh? They were dismembering corpses and putting them into boxes. I've heard stories about ritualistic cannibalism in the past. Fuck. Oh no, no. Don't remember the smell. Focus on the alcohol. The fuck am I gonna do? This is so, so fucked. J 
chat word says, oh yes, cannibalism. I mean, we were going to end up talking about cannibalism at some point, weren't we? What the fuck am I going to do? This is so, so fucked. I have a duty to sell something. What am I going to tell Odette? I should tell the police. My jazz, what did he do? What am I going to tell Odette? Mm, I have a duty to do something. What the fuck can I do on my own? I have to stop anyone else being butchered like that. This is my chance to do something meaningful. I have to stop anyone else. Great idea. Just ask Clarissa Bloodworth nicely. I'm sure she'll understand my concern. I can spread the word. Can contact the newspaper. I could go back. Get some evidence. Okay. Not going to go back in. This is my chance to do something meaningful. I don't want to spend my life snapping cheetahs and finding stolen watches. I also don't want to die. Yeah, I don't want to just... I just don't want to be alive sometimes. Fuck, I wish someone would tell me what to do. I wish I had someone to talk to. No one would get it anyway. I have to wing it by myself. Like always. This might be the most important case I've ever had. Glad we switched back. This might be the most important case I've ever had. But is it worth the risk? What am I going to tell her dad? How about the truth? Do we call her and wing it, or I'll lie and tell her he ran off with someone? What do you reckon, chat? Lie or call her and wing it? I don't really want to lie. But also, winging it in this situation does not seem like a great idea. Thunder Cookie says, either the aim is to serve them as meat, or that's just the way they dispose of the bodies of the ones that OD. It's possible. Call her and wing it, people say. I'll just call her and wing it. Maybe it's for the best that he's gone. Why Jez? What did he do? Could he have just been in the wrong place at the wrong time? The guy seemed like a harmless loser. In any case, what could he do to deserve being butchered? What if he's not the first? How many people has Bloodworth killed? Impossible to know for sure. Maybe I don't even want to know. I should tell the police, apparently. I think the, the choices in, in this aren't as sort of like branching as I thought they might be. So let's talk about telling the police. Is that really going to work? Bloodworth probably has some sort of immunity. Emma Benton says, uh, I like that we're talking this out with ourselves on a park bench. Me too. No way she's saying, doing something like this without someone high up covering for her. What would I even tell them? Hi, I broke into a private property and I'd like to report a butchering. <laughs> They'd probably arrest me for trespassing and ignore the rest. The bastards hate unsolved murders. They bury the case in red tape. So they just arrest me and earn a favor from Bloodworth for free? No thanks. So the police are out of the question. Think, Howard. Think. I have no clue what to do. I'm useless. Why me? Fuck this. Maybe if I drink enough, I'll forget about it. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Slow down, buddy. Oh. I don't think you bought enough to just get really wasted and forget about it all. Oh, Howard. Fuck this. <laughs> Puck, pleck. Burning park. Remember the great fire. What the fuck is this? What do these symbols mean? They look deliberate, not just mindless vandalism. What do these symbols mean? They look deliberate, not just mindless vandalism. 
The Great Fire was before my parents' time. Burned up bridges. Whole districts destroyed in the war. Shit. Maybe we deserve to burn. Samuel Peeps, Peeps buried his cheese to escape uh, to help it escape the Great Fire of London. There you go. A figure with their tail chopped off. Weird. Or is it a pear swan? I mean, do humans exist? Was that a human body hanging up? Because Howard didn't seem bothered by the fact there was a body hanging up. It was the fact there was a dead otter there. It wasn't like, there was another body being butchered. I think humans are eaten in this world. But is that meant to be a figure with their tail chopped off? Or is it a human? It looks like hashtag 09 on that sign, but I guess I'll die here. <laughs> oh, Octo-chan says that body looked like a chimp. Oh, yeah, because... Yeah, of course, because there was Ape Delight. Good point. Looney. Well, you've really knocked that juice, friendo. Rough night. More than I thought possible. Wow, that bad, huh? You wouldn't understand. I don't need to, I guess. How can you be so chill when the world is so fucked? No, I just don't know what to do. No one's going to tell you, friend, though. Eh. Yeah. Let me ask you something. Sure. As long as you take it nice and easy. Got a calm spot going here. You seen those symbols on the plaque? Yeah, I've seen them. There's the streety symbols. <laughs> Not drawn by me, though, mind you. You know what I mean? More or less. Most of them are dumb tags or simple messages. You're a special language? Sure. Helps us look out for each other. You teach me something? Get yourself a tent. Spend a few weeks on the streets. Uh, maybe. What do the black ones mean? Though it's not safe here, and you better watch yourself. Not sure about the stick figure with no tail. Might be some cult shit. Cult? A new dawn fellowship? Nah. Wouldn't be them. I think someone less dangerous, but more religious. Almighty shepherd deniers, perhaps. Um, Eki the source says, is that thieves cant, the symbols? Not really. I mean, like, so there, there used to be uh, a, a language of way symbols for, um, for uh, homeless people who were traveling uh, like across, I think it was America, where there were like symbols that could be, uh, I think it was also in, in Britain, actually. It was, it was kind of across both continents. So I think it shows up in Sherlock Holmes at one point. But there are symbols that will sort of be arranged in twigs and stuff that say like, if you st if you stop here, they'll feed you, or don't don't stop here, they're not nice people, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I know, yeah, I know it pops up in a Sherlock Holmes tale. It also popped up as like kind of like a boxcar thing where people would leave sort of symbols to talk about the places where they were, which is interesting. Jack escaped the box again. Says this voice does feel a bit Black Adam meets The Sopranos. Yes. Oh, HC Bird says people still use variants of these symbols around the world. There you go. Um, now, nah, I wouldn't do them. I think someone a little less dangerous, but more religious. Almighty Shepherd than I, perhaps. Um. All organised religion is dangerous. Ain't that simple? Even cults have their upsides. We all need companionship and something to believe in. I guess I could see the logic. Different people need different things. All there is to it. I'm not sure what I need. I don't want to get into it, Fendo. I've got today to deal with. This hit me to ask your vibe. I hear that. My name is Howard, by the way. Mine's Looney. Pleasure to meet you. You too. Always nice past time with your face. How did you end up here? I got into the work. They let me go. Bosses are bastards. Yep. The ones who get more into it are even worse. They only ever look upwards, never think about the hope they're setting on. So what were you doing? Oh, uh, Nikose has done a super chat saying, I'm donating to my favourite YouTubers today because one, it is my 45th birthday, and two, I've just finished week two of Jab 2. I'll catch the VOD later. Stay lovely. Thank you so much for the super chat and very happy birthday and congratulations on being fully, um, fully vaccinated 
That was great. <laughs> Aiden Folk says, oh, so you tell this guy your real name. Yeah, why not? I worked at the big print works down in Gastown. Well, there's nothing else you can do. With these mangled fingers and my brain not much better? Bums you out, doesn't it? Yeah, I get by, but I wouldn't contribute. Man, that reminds me I've got things to do. Good luck with them. Bye, Looney. Wishing well, eh? Someone's been using this as a public toilet. Not sure flipping a coin would help. Gross. Hmm. Has that same herbal stink to it that... Ugh. No. Who this? Oh, guess we're not... Oh! Whoa! Gopnik! Hey, pussy boy. Let's have a little chat. Is it? Cut to the chase. Just want a friendly chit-chat. Got any loons for your new friends? Oh, fuck off. Say that again. Come on. Come on, stab me, I don't care. Why not? I think it'd be that easy, matey. Time Now time for Pain City. Whoa! Wow! That actually did just beat the shit out of me. You. Renee? Okay, Howard Lota, we're safe here. You can relax. You relax. I'm relaxed. Don't sass me. Let's talk. What about... All right, let me get things started. Go ahead. I'm a writer. I've been researching Clarissa Bloodworth for a book on power and influence I'm working for. Interesting. Why are you interested in Bloodworth? She's maybe the most unofficially powerful person in the city. Since she took over as head of her family, she's been expanding. New drugs, her profile visitors to the Bite, and more. So you're an expert on Clarissa. You could say that. I've never talked to her directly, though. And you have. What's she like up close? Blah. Excuse me. Smart! She can see right through me. Yeah, that's my impression, too. She wouldn't get that far without knowing how to read people and their intentions. What kind of visitors are you talking about? Did you know there's a VIP lounge upstairs at the bar? Super exclusive. Some real influential guys have been seen in there. I'm talking top bankers, senior police, even apes. I've been up there. I'm guessing you weren't invited. Bloodworth is getting some powerful regulars. No such thing as simple drinking with those kind of folks. Is she pushing drugs? Specifically, monkey butt. Incredibly potent, super addictive. She serves the clean variety at the bite, and the shittier version is turning up on the streets. It's a fucking stupid name. I think it's smart. Makes you giggle. You tell your friends, then they're curious. Boom. It loosens up the tongue, which, for someone like Bloodworth, could serve a purpose. Let's move on. Hmm. How did you find me at the park? I do want to know that. Well... I left the bite just after you got kicked out. So, oh wait, yeah. Creeperistic says even apes. Were they in the ape delight? <laughs> Cookie Cat ninety four says the real drugs were the otters we let die along the way. Goodness me. Um, yeah, if apes are meant to be super super important, was that an ape hanging up? I don't know that it was. I'm sorry to really focus on that body that was hanging upside down in the meat locker, but. I'm just curious. Anyway. Well, I left the bike just after you got kicked out. Saw you running around. Excuse me. I wonder what madness you were up to. Ah, uh, just the usual night for me, miss. I staked out the alley behind the bike on a hunch. Twenty minutes later, bingo. Puking raccoon. Glad you enjoyed the show. Then I followed you, hoping to ask what happened. Not sure why I let you drink that whole bottle first. Hope it was worth it. It's up to you. Who are you working for? Myself. 
As for my funding, there's a guy, a rich, important asshole. It's an ego trip for him, but he knows I don't like being told what to do. Who's that guy? The name wouldn't mean anything to you, but he thinks the book will make him look good and dish the dirt on his rivals. And are you going to make him look good? No. Trick will be letting him believe that I have. Tell me more about the book. I'm studying different forms of power and investigating who really holds the most influence in the city. And what's that going to accomplish? People can't remake society if they don't realise it's broken. Why am I here? What do you want from me? First, I want you to trust me, like I trusted you just now. What did you find at the bite? I don't want anyone else wrapped up in this. Boop. Trickster Thing says, oh, you should use the Columbo voice if Howard ever does a fake voice. Trickster Thing, yes, please. That is a great idea. All right. Wouldn't it feel nice to share the burden with someone? Wouldn't believe me anyway. I'm here to listen. I can help. What did you find? It's a long story. Ah, shit. All right, let's try and... So from the beginning, on your way here, you told me you're a PI. Blah, 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 blah. Led you to the bite in the first place. Looking for someone. Lead on the case. Hired to track a guy. Let's just spill the beans. I mean, if, if Renee double-crosses us, Renee double-crosses us. What's his deal? It's a piece of shit. Cheating on his preg. No, why? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. It was only a suspicion. See, did you find him? Yes, his corpse. What? Where? In the base bike's basement they were cutting my target up into pieces what the fuck there were other bodies hanging from the ceiling okay right the bodies weren't meant to be there i saw boxes of flesh it wasn't just one body are you fucking joking i wish i was let me get this straight bloodworth is cutting up people in the basement of the bite and then putting them into boxes hence the puking i wouldn't put killing people past her but this why how the fuck would i know i thought you were a detective Never mind. I didn't ask for this. I'm not a fucking murder detective. Okay, wow. It really was an eventful night for you. What are you going to do now? Die, probably. I've got to get my shit together, I think. Ah, Tom Titherington has arrived in the chat. Hello, Tom Titherington. Exactly. Then what's our plan? Such well is it our plan. Since I followed you through the city all night and rescue, rescued your soggy ass from a puddle, I have a proposition... What is it? I want to invite you on an adventure. Let's find out the truth about Bloodworth. She's clearly more dangerous than I thought. How is that a good idea? I know you're scared, but I can see how your brilliant mind lights up when we speak. Are you charming me? I've never had a partner before, but my gut feeling says I can trust you. You found something that I couldn't, and you owe me one. Good, because we clearly can't trust her. I don't know which one to say. What should we say? Do we say I trust you too? We can't trust my gut? Or I don't owe you anything? I like. I don't think this is actually going to have a big impact or anything on, on anything rather, but I don't know what to say here. I don't really like any of these options. Mm. Arcadia was first in with one. I trust you too. Thanks. Just imagine doing your thing while I work behind the scenes. Teamwork. Also, I'll pay you. <laughs> Partner could be nice. My smarts. Your stubbornness. Dream team. Let's try, I guess. Excellent. Now, tea time. Mind brewing some? But I'm the guest, you do it. Mm. Sure thing, boss? Teamwork. Boop, 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 boop. Look at my tail. It's so luxurious. Anyway, turn the kettle on. Hmm, which tea would Renee prefer? Green minty tea, black spicy tea, or hibiscus flowers? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think she'd like green minty tea. There, I said it. 
My inclination is black spicy tea. Not hibiscus flowers. But then hibiscus flowers should probably say something about botany. Spicy tea. We'll go hibiscus flowers, sure. Gentle, subtle, and my favourite. I don't know how to feel about her. Time will tell her what's closely. She got under my skin pretty quickly. Yeah, Howard, get a fucking grip. You just met her. <laughs> I don't live here, it's my safe space. Corkboard. I have a similar one in my office. No good investigator should be without one. Where are we? Docks. Not the most picturesque part of the city, but at least it's hard to find. The kettle's boiling! Pew. Octo-chan said something interesting. It kind of bothers me that every time there are anthropomorphized animals, nobody ever wears anything on their tail. That's a whole nother appendage. Interesting. I've never considered that. Let's see if we guessed right, eh? Hibiscus, my favourite, thank you. Rene, I do know how to drink tea. So the case. We need to figure out what happens to that flesh. Did you see the Starling Cider delivery truck in the bite alley? No? I don't remember it. Is he thinking what I'm thinking? Truck smuggles the flesh away? Sure, yeah, why not? Right. Where are you going with this? What if I told you it's not a real Starling Cider van? Why bother making a fake? That was my question before. I'd seen it a few times while researching the bite. But I guess now we know. You followed it, didn't you? I tried, but I'm not an expert at tailing stuff. I'm a writer, not a fighter. So you have no idea where it goes after the bite. Well, luckily, there are people you can pay to keep an eye on things. Long story short, I know it delivers to somewhere in Gastown. Oh, did Lenny t tell me about it? Oh, well. No, more like streeties and teenagers with too much time in their hands. I have a little network of friends. Oh, my God. She's got the Baker Street Irregulars. On her side, maybe he's a professional time next time. Um, excuse me, the Baker Street Irregulars are amazing. Thank you very much. Didn't see the exact delivery location? No, my informant tracked it to the main commercial block, then lost it, but I figured out that it spends the night in the Bite Alley before going to Gastown the next day. So it'll be in Gastown tomorrow. Yep. You should figure out exactly where it delivers and investigate. We have to learn where that flesh goes. So it's a stakeout. Are we going to make meat puns? Is it a stakeout? Martin Cox says the Irregulars show wasn't great of what I saw about. Oh, I forgot they made a, an Irregulars show. Okay. Creeperistic says, yes, meat puns. So we're going to go with steak out, just in case. Sure, but look for where Starling is locked. Stocks. Whoops. It's a fake truck, but the right place will still probably sell it to avoid suspicion. Ooh. That's some good detective thinking, Rene. Um, wait, wait. I've got something for this. Uh... If you're so sure that we should do a stakeout, maybe you should contact your little mignons.
<laughs> Some good detective thinking, Rene. It's a needle in the haystack. That's all we have for now. It has to be done. The only thing to fear is fear itself. You can do this. We'll figure it out. Watson, you okay? Come here. Hi, pig. Hi, buddy. You okay? What are you walking around for? Huh? Okay. We will together. Ah, oh, shh. Fine, I have to call a debt. I have to call a debt? Bollocks. Okay. Whoever that is, go ahead. The phone is right there. Arrange a taxi to Gastown while you're at it. I've got a man for that. I'll be right back. Okay, hang on one sec. This is very important now. There we go. It's been a while, hasn't it? This is not the best camera angle, but where's Watson cam for you? Right, let's go make a horrible, horrible phone call. Hey, pig. You okay? I guess let's call her that. Adet, this is Detective Lotor. Sorry to call so early. Good girl, settle down. There we go. Good pig. There we go. There's Watson Cam. Mr. Lotor, my husband didn't come home tonight. Did you see him? to tell her. You should file a missing person report. Oh. Oh, Shepard. Try to move on with your life. He's not coming back. Click. That's called Mum. Hello, Mum. Howie? What time is it? Are you okay? Did you hurt yourself? I'm fine, just checking in. Call for weeks and you're not checking Oh, it's 5 a.m.? Don't sound over there. I have a job, Mum. I'm okay. Spiders, huh? Big ones? Whew. Anatoly! Dolly! Howard, you sound very awake. Howie, you think I was asleep? Sleepers for when you got no babies. You free today? For you always, what's hanging? Ah, ha, ha, it's a pear or a peach, you know, I was a saying. You'll bet, Howie and Tolly, the dynamic duo of detective body partners, crime lords, beware. Please remember to put some clothes on. You the boss, big payday, I'll wear a tiny hat if you want. You at your place? No, one second. Rene, what's the address? Time to pick you up, sir. Blah. Okay. Yeah, it's in the ducks. Wait, Howie, who's Renee? Who is she? None of your business. Can't wait. Gotta run. The poopy lad is being cranky. Dad life. Drive you soon. Click. Who are you going to call? No one. Make three phone calls. Hello, Renee. Start with the truck. Find where it's going. Call me during and after. I'll write you my number in a minute. Also, who's a debt? That's my client. Elaborate. Wanna hire me some blur? Mm. Yep, did not handle that well. You don't want to stay? Yeah, let's go for it. No. Call me if you need anything. Be careful out there. Goodbye, Renee. 
She's foxy. Gotta say. Mankoy says, please tell me Anatoly will wear more than just a tiny hat. Oh, he's wearing clothes. There we go. Look at this. So what's the case? <laughs> you know, I can't tell you, but this one could make a difference, I think. Woo-wee! Love that for you. Time you stamped your name on the world. H-O-W-A-R-D. Howard. Not about my name. And the name of your partner stamped just underneath it. T-O-L-Y Tolly. <laughs> Pig's not sure about that one. Here we are, Gas Town, Shepherd Almighty, what a swanky place. I'm not here to sightsee. Well, you go on and buy the folks, and I'm gonna get some quality and totally chill time. When's truck coming? We'll see. Kick back in the meal name time. Yeah, well sure, we'll bring him a we'll bring him a newspaper. Gas Town! New objective. Buy a new pack of cigarettes. Oh, okay. Figure out where the boxes of flesh are ending up. Track down the fake sterling cider truck. Alright, we can do all these things. Or sterling cider on a thing. Look at this. Let's go in here. Ah, oh, jeez. Louis. Sorry, sir. I'm waiting on a delivery. Could you come back later? Okay. Let's say whether he sells the cider or not, though. Well, it could be the liquor shop. Probably not the book shop. Bucci? Bye for now, you don't sell booze. The ghost of Laura Palmer quite rightly says it's way suspicious to shut down your entire shop for a delivery. Four eleven electrical. Sean. Yeah, I'm on me smoke break. I don't want to do that. Need some company. I'm cool. Give me a chance. What are the locals like? Why though? I'll leave you to it. You don't sell cider. Green Deli, mate. Hello. You got rare apple cigs? Three loons for a pack of ten. I'll take them. You got any sterlings? Regular Barrett expecting delivery today? Wow. Thank you. Goodbye. Delta, you've been amazing. You're not selling the booze. Doc. Oh my, what a magnificent snout, my boy. Ugh. Your kind. Absolutely, I mind. The prideful stubbornness of your kind. Um, fuck you. Oh no, Mo. Get your papers. Is that you, Bo? No, I'm Mo. Who's Bo? I must be mistaken. Sure, I'll get to the bottom of this. No, you won't. Got anything a lazy taxi driver would enjoy? <laughs> the ones for kitties left. Here you go. Bye. <gasps> a truck! A crappy looking truck. Have we missed it? We kind of missed it. 
Those are crates. And run, 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 run. I should get to that liquor shop quickly. Uh, I should have looked in the van. All done, Grandpa. See you next week. Shit. Is the truck gone? No, it's not. Oh, shit. Is the truck gone? Huh. Looks official to me. Impressive. That That's it? That's all we got? Ah, uh, okay. Wow, I thought I was catching them red-handed there. Hello? Do you still? Of course, my friend. But I love Starling Cider the most, and you just got a fresh delivery. Oh, well, but I have some... If you let me buy it fresh from the crate, I'll make it worth your while. Uh-huh. Maybe it's not Starling Cider in those crates at all. Or... Why so flustered, Louis? Something wrong. So this is my shop. I won't be harangued. I won't be harangued like this in my own shop. Truth, I'm a journalist. Where are you buying those crates? How many buyers for those crates? You're not going to get me drunk. You have a matter? No, gosh. Where are you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesale supplier. I'd love to sell only my own brews, but sadly people are slow to love them. If they had more taste, then, then. You're not having money problems, are you, Lou? Cookie Cat 94 says, An otter selling otter seems wrong somehow. I agree. Excuse me. It's just a little slow, but the parade will make up for it. All those parties, people get thirsty. What's in the crate, Slowy? You talk or bad things will happen. Sir, please. I don't know what you want to hear, but the shop is my life. I want the truth, and I'm ready to hurt you for it. Oh, Shepard, look, do you want the money? Take everything. Have you ever broken a finger? Spill or I start with your pinky. Please, please don't hurt me. If t Here's a storage room key, okay? Look for yourself and let me be. Don't try anything stupid while I'm gone. I mean, certainly does look scared. Tuna. What the fuck? Hey, friend, I am Dalton Tuna. I give you fun facts whenever you press my button. Go ahead. Eggs are very nutritious, as well as a great way to decorate your home. That's, that's what I get for trying to, um, trying to get fun information out of a tuna, I guess. Okay. Uh-huh. Look at the lid. Punch the lid. Inspect the lid. Lever up the lid. Lid. Small packages. Okay. Let's do it. Sniff the flesh. Inspect the flesh. Sniff the flesh. Melange of intoxicating sweet, fancy with notes of an acidic tang. Am I going to be sick again? No. Plants emit an ultrasonic sound when injured or under stress. It's like they're screaming. Beavers eat a million pizzas a day. No one thinks about you as much as you do. Rocks are old, very old. One third of your life is spent working. Lobsters are illegal. You will cry on average 64 litres of tears during your lifetime. Impressive. Hiccups serve no purpose but to annoy you. Your memories are not... Okay, I've had enough out of this tuna. Hey, Louie. So you saw it. Illegal fish fillets is a dangerous black market. You think I don't know what fish smells like? Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
If she finds out I told anyone, I'll get thrown over the wall. You understand? If you tell a soul, I'm worse than dead. How did you end up with boxes full of flesh, Louis? Or I could introduce myself. I didn't have a choice. Fate has conspired against me. Maybe it was a hard choice, but you still had one. No, I did not. You'd never understand. Just trying to explain it for me. It's just, why me? Why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone, just worked hard and paid our taxes. It was the damn city's fault. Why isn't her medicine free? Oh. Here comes the old sub story. Oh, Gav Richards has done a super chat saying, This game looks gorgeous. I love the style. Loving the streams and videos, Johnny. Keep being amazing. Have a, have a beer on me. Thank you very much, Gav. Uh, I'm having a beer right now. This isn't the one that you've you've bought me, but I will buy one later. Uh, but cheers to you all the same. Thank you very much. Hmm. Okay. Why isn't her medicine free? Probably because life is horribly unfair. Miss Bloodworth is keeping my sister alive. She pays the medical bills. I even thought about selling the shop. The wounds, loons wouldn't have lasted. Keep it. Yep. What do you do with the boxes? Nothing. I just look after them until they're re-delivered. Delivery? A woman calls us for the usual. Her name is Bard. Bajwa. Why would I tell him my name? It's better you don't know. You do your job, I'll do mine. Yeah, this guy's just a stooge. Oh, the ghost of Laura Palmer says, Palmer, bleh, the ghost of Laura Palmer says, I wish you could ask Louis when he last saw his sister. Oh, God. Thank you. Shepard guides you. He doesn't give a fuck. We're on our own. And this is his favorite YouTube channel on the Citadel. <laughs> I think it's time you left, sir. Fuck you, Louis. One last question. When is this bourgeois expecting delivery? Well, Joey took a crate over a few days ago. She's expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Tell Joey he's got the day off. I will take the cigars. This one go back to you. you. Give me the cigars. I can't stop you. My life might be worthless, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. That's a, a rum thing for you to be saying, isn't it, Louis? Hey? Take them on the house. You did your best to reassure Louis. Did I? I didn't feel like I did. Look at him. He's having a terrible day. Good luck, Louis. Bye. Gas Town! How's everyone doing, chat? Could you do with a little break? Um, like a quick five minutes? I should call Renee. I should really should call Renee. Uh, is there somebody you need to be calling? Um, do you want a stretch and a toilet break? What are we saying? We normally have a little break around, well, six, but we have one at half five. Should we take a, let's take a proper five minutes this time, eh? Shall we? Why not? Yeah, all right. Um, so I'm going to take us to the Be Right Back screen with its calming jazz tones. And then um, Thunder Cookie says a bio break would be awesome. Right. That seals it. Um, everyone, uh, go do what you need to do on your on your, on your your break. Have a stretch. Get some water. Grab some, some snacks if you want or need them. Uh, you know, just spend five minutes however you want to spend five minutes. And we'll be, we'll be right back uh, very, very soon. All right. Bye.
Hi, everyone. Welcome back. Or indeed, if you've just joined us, welcome uh, to another stream here on uh, youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. What are we playing? We're playing Backbone. What's the story? I'll explain it to you very, very shortly. But most importantly, here's Watson Cam. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's uh, just hit continue. We should call Rene. Here's what's been going on. We were hired to... Um, that is a Sin Eater tea. Thank you so much, Will. Um, we've been hired. We were hired by an otter who's pregnant, who had suspected her husband was cheating on her, to find the husband and find proof. We found the husband in a club called The Bite. The husband was dead and being cut up and put into boxes. Um, he was involved in a, a type of drug, which I'm not kidding, is called monkey butt. Um, seemingly he took it. He might have overdosed on it. Either way, we have tracked down one of the crates of um, his flesh, which is going to be delivered to someone called Bajwa. We're trying to find out who she is. We now need to call Rene, who is a fox, who is our friend, uh, with whom we very much enjoy flirting. So, uh, how do we quit? Tab to exit. Tab to exit that bit. We should call Rene. Where's a phone? Not that way. The art style is gorgeous. The story is quite on rails. But, um, yeah. We're having a good time. Oh, we should probably just go talk to our friend. <gasps> Rene! No, we should call Rene. Who's speaking, please? I got a new lead. Ah, I'm listening. A lady named Bajwa is the buyer. No idea who she is. Not yet. She puts in a call to the shop and the boxes get delivered from there. Where did you learn? Did you learn where? 35 West Georgia Street. Ring a bell. An address in the tops. Interesting. Feel like heading over for a house call? Heck yeah! I love peeking into people's windows. Seriously though, what good would that do? How should I know? Look for curious clues. I have a delivery for her. Yeah, I do. Pretend to be a door-to-door -door salesman or a preacher. I have a delivery for her. Ooh, good idea, but that won't get you into the apartment. Maybe she'll invite me into tea. For tea. Maybe, say with a slice of fresh flesh cake. Rene! That's disgusting. Get on with it. I'm going. I'm going. Good luck. You're doing great. Call me after and head straight home, okay? Home? Well, it is where you live now. Right. Speak soon. Is this guy okay? Is this guy old or being sick? Or both? Just old. Okay. Emma Benton says, Ew, flesh cake. I know, and yet people will so happily eat meatloaf. What's up, bro, Tando? Let's drive, Tully. Yes, where to? Tops. Let's go. Jack Wood says flesh cake is the most upsetting thing I've heard in the last hour. What's new, chef? Did you crack the case yet? Chief, not chef. No, got a big lead, though. Ha! Lead on, partner! Sounds like this is a bigger deal than usual. You're, uh, being careful, right? Relax. I'm not about to deprive you of your best customer. Best friend? Sure. But if you're my best customer, how come you don't tip? Because best friends don't need to tip, Anatoly. Anatoly, it'd be impolite. Polite? Ha! I didn't realize you were part of society. High society, Howie. You fixing to become a minister? Just watch the road. Huh? Mm -mm. mm -mm. Alright, we're in the tops. Finn, welcome to the Blue Falls building. My name is Finn. I'm afraid we have a strict policy of only admitting visitors who've been pre-invited. I have a delivery for Miss Bajois. Ah, uh, yes, there's a delivery boy on the list. She's in apartment 1144, the 11th floor. How do you like working here? It's a wonderful building. I'm lucky to work in such a great neighbourhood. 
that you don't live here, right? <laughs> no, of course not. Doesn't that bum you out? Listen, pal, I'm just doing my job. It could be a lot worse. Like being a delivery boy. Cool, see ya. That's all. Your very own cheese pizza. Your stolen credit card. What's Nicky all about? Hey, what do I look like to you? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You heard me, fool. Okay, you look like a patent lawyer. Oh, I'm hurt. That's real cruel, a lawyer. Fuck. <laughs> what did you mean to look like? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, I did ask. You don't live here? Nope, I'm a delivery boy. Delivering anything I like? Probably, but it's not for you. Said who? Client confidentiality, I'm afraid. Don't you know who I am? No, and I should really get going. What's the rush? You gotta slow down or you miss out on the finer things in life. Like a tip for delivering on time? If you turn your back on people, don't be surprised to find that they leave a knife in you. Which people? The name's Nicky. People call me the wolf. I can see why. Around here, people hear wolf. They think of Nicky. I'm sure you're an upstanding pillar of the community. I don't see a fool like you around here often. I'm sure you're a real big shot. Oh, yeah. If you ask nicely, I can get you on the wolf hotness level, fool. What? I'm sure, I'm sure you can. No, we're talking my language. Ever heard of a wolf job? No, and I prefer... Leave, but remember me, baby. I... I don't think I have a choice. A wolf job? Is it because they huff and they puff and they blow your dick down? I don't know why I said that. Mankoy says, inside every wolf is two wolves. Inside those two wolves, two more each. It's wolves all the way. These plants look better than most of the people I know. Definitely me. Well, yeah, because of plants. The concierge said 11th floor. The residence of evil. Hey, I got my first Johnny. Uh, thanks, LaCroix boy, Marks. Let's go into the elevator. Notice board. Floor 20 committee meeting this Friday. Boring. Hang on. What? Oh, shit. Accidentally knocked on the door. Ah! Oh! Miss Bajois. Miss Bajois? I've got a delivery for you. Why is the 20th floor... Why, why is the 20th floor advertising on the 11th floor for a floor 20 committee meeting? Hmm? That's what I want to know. Laura Money or Laura Emony says, "What are you quaffing, Johnny? It is but a can of the Rev James original. It is a uh, not expensive ale. It is fine." Gaz Sharp says, "I reckon the floor twenty meeting is so they can all blaze it." Ah, floor twenty. I understand. Floor twenty, bla blaze it. West Coast Weaver says, "Granted, after all of the ball jokes on the outside extra stream, can't can't say I'm too shocked." Wow. What did I miss? Ball jokes, apparently. Anyway, Miss Bourgeois, I've got a delivery for you. Ah, the cigars. Right here. Can you confirm? Can can you uh, can you confirm the recipient's name? I might not get to enjoy them, but I am the recipient, Eloise Bourgeois. Just following procedure. You understand? Oh, fine. Louis sends his regards. Or what about the payment? They're probably on account. I'm just going to say Louis sends his regards. Bajoir is just the maid. Find out who the apartment really belongs to. Pissing her off isn't going to help me get in there. I have to find another way in. Where's a fire alarm? Where's a fire escape? Oh, just climb. Okay. Raise that. I can't reach it. Damn my short arms. Your core strength, though. My goodness. <gasps> There's a goose up there. It looks cosy inside. Okay, I'm being creepy. Umbrella. 
But now what? Ah, for make longer arms. Abby Marie says, oh no, a Canada goose. Watch out. Use umbrella. I think I will. I guess I should get rid of it. My pockets are too small. Should we tuck it off the building? Throw away the umbrella. Screw you, umbrella. <laughs> Amazing. Come on, climb. Jolly good. The city looks so strange from up here. But it's easy to forget real people are struggling down below. Shh. Pet the geezer? Oh, go, 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 go to pet the geezer. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Should have done that in the Columbo voice as well. Ah, uh, who's a good boy? Just, just, I uh, just one more thing. Who's a good boy? My name's Sam Diamond. Climb down. Pat the geezer. Window. I oh, should be uh, right outside the back of the maid's apartment. Who really lives here? Inspect the window. It's closed on a latch. Oh, wait, it's actually open the tiniest bit. If I had something thin enough to slide through and lift, well, shit, I don't have anything. Don't raccoons have penis bones? Looks like there are renovations going on. Maybe I can find a kind of tool nearby. Yes, actually, that's a much more sensible idea. Sorry, I even suggested penis bone. Putty knife. Cersei? Hey, stranger. Hey, don't care why you're here. Saw you climbing. Nice moves. Don't mind me, just getting some fresh air. Yep, me too. You have a nice butt. How can you see that? I'm wearing a coat. Hmm? Hmm? Been a while since I heard that. That's too bad. I tell you that every day. That would be lovely. Is that catnip you're smoking? Yep. Want some? Maybe another time? I have to go. Hate to see you leave. Love to watch you go. Bye, gorgeous. Wow. Security is lax around here. I don't know. Let's try this again. I bet the putty knife is thin enough to fit. Just about. He's now lifting us. Boom! All right, here we go. I'm in way over my head. I need to quickly figure out who lives here and run. Shepherd Shrine, eh? Bookshelf, eh? Expensive looking knowledge. What? Desk. This desk is upsettingly tasteful. My God, you have some really internalized, like, classism, <laughs> Howard. You really hate yourself, which is not okay. Ugh, not this guy. Maybe some book secretly opens a hidden room? I'd love it if there was then a prompt that did that. Oh, hello, mister. Are you lost? Um, yes, that's right. You look funny. Funny weird or funny haha? -ha. You're a stranger, aren't you? I'm super ordinary. I'm the desk repair guy. Daddy says repairs are for suckers who can't afford to replace things. What does Daddy do? My father is the research and development secretary. He is the secretary of research and development. That's probably a public figure. Does he live here? No, we live in our own house, dummy. Sorry, first day I'm still new. When I grow up, I will have hundreds of assistants can ask you for a favour. I will owe you both one great big fat favour. Yes, these are children. They're gullible. They also appear to be apes. That's terrifying. My boss will be angry. I'm talking to you. Let's keep it a secret. Exactly, and I need this job. Yes, yeah, so our little secret. Um, 
And I can do that, you know, shout, you'll get shouted out louder. Do you hate it when daddy shouts? What are you doing here anyway? We're s we snuck in here. What are your parents doing? They're eating dinner. I won't snitch if you won't. Theo, take a peek. Can we sneak out? I can do it. Okay. Trying to help the terrifying chimp children escape. Ah, it's a chimp and a lion. And a uh, baboon and a lioness. They're all eating dinner very slowly as if they're underwater. And that's a gorilla being served by someone and they're cutting up meat, possibly otter. Hello, Jebediah. So is it clear? Can we go? Hey, you know what's for dinner? We didn't see, but it did smell kind of funny. <laughs> I'm sure it's this new kind of herb. Wow. Wow. We just made the... Very, very good. Will just said, ah, oh, yes, the otter white meat. <laughs> Um, well, we've, we've now got the kids excited to try it, so that's good. Sure he's not. Better be going now. Thanks, mister. Come on, Theo. Laters. Okay. Let's sniff the desk. Feel the desk. Search the desk. Empty mug, chunky book. Inspect the book. Copy of the nature. Oh, a Jordan Rand. No, I don't want to look at that. Hidden compartments. Okay. Open the drawers, take the mug, stop searching the desk, look at the pile of papers, uh, grab the papers, leave the desk alone. Is that all we got? Let's just do some sprinting just to be certain. Well, it looks like that's it. Dr. Chan says I'm expanding their palette. All right, fine. Let's leave. Are you ready to start? Hang on. I'm just going to adjust. Here we go. Just going to adjust Watson can. Let's do it. Do what? Okay. Bonus numbers. Yes. Correct. What were you thinking? Couldn't find anything else. Uh, they were there, so I took them. Could you read out loud? I think best. My eyes goes, where do I start? Start small. Something looks personal. Maybe handwritten. Ah, oh, here's one. It's a handwritten note on a scrap of yellow, sticky paper. Chief Tanner, I have a priority order for you. Your head of biochemistry will now report directly to me. Burn after reading. Someone didn't burn after reading. Let's analyse this. Something specific caught your eye? Chief Tanner, who is that guy? We have a name, can't you look it up somewhere? You try. I mean, this is all daft conjecture, isn't it? Biochemistry probably means a well-equipped lab. Yeah, you can only find those in Science City. Well, well, well. Let's try and draw a conclusion. Chief Tanner must be managing the head of biochemistry, who probably works in Science City. Who's the buyer then? I don't know. Wes? Chat, help me out here. What, what do you want to say? What is this? Chief Tanner. Managing the head of biochemistry, he probably works in Science City. Oh, I see. Is he the science minister? Sure, the science minister. Right, you stole these documents from the science minister. Nice, Howard. Wow, this is big. Scary stuff. Let's see if we can figure that out next. Let's read on. How about an RSVP? That might contain a name.
an envelope containing a single sheet of high quality paper with neat writing and a signature. Read it. Dear friend. I will of course attend our monthly celebration. I can't wait to see what delicacy you've prepared for us this time. T N. What do you think, Renee? Seems like the minister likes to party. Was that the dinner you saw today? I think I'm going to get sick. Let's analyse this. Monthly celebration. So some sort of ancient cult tradition, probably. What delicacy you've prepared. Flesh. They're eating people. Dear friend, who is TN? Isn't that the president? Theodore Nashville? Are you fucking kidding me? No way. Interesting. I mean, you'd think that I'd recognise the president, Theodore Nashville, if I had a good peek through the door, right? Uh, let's see. So let's look at the R&D report. Hmm. An official-looking report on Science City branded paper. Research project hash 76-5B introductory report. Minister protein analysis of the new sample is underway. The sample processes hitherto uncatalogued genes whose functions will require time to isolate via RNA tracking. This can't be rushed, as I've said before. Please have patience. René? What should we focus on? Focused on? Protein analysis. Biochemistry stuff? Proteins and RNA are genetics terms. Hmm? And our minister hired a biochemist. Remember? Uncatalogued genes. It's a new form of life? Interesting. Monthly is terrifying. You're right, Thunder Cookie. This must be the biochemistry fair. The science minister is not an easy guy to work with. Handwritten memo. It's a handwritten note. Oh, wait, not that. Other documents. Letter to Daddy. Here we go. It's an illustrated letter written in coloured pencil. Read it. Daddy, I love you very much. Please give money for my birthday. I want to buy a lizard. Bye. Let's look more closely at that. I want to buy a lizard. What's it tell you? Why wouldn't a kid just ask for a lizard? Business mentality. Yes, yes. Love you very, very much, eh? It's a bluff. <laughs> Let's move on. We've got your number, kid. Other documents. Briefing log. Oh, police note. Blank piece of paper with a small type note. And no other. The details are clues. Esteemed fellow minister... The recent reports of disappearances from the West End have a clear connection. I don't know why you want them left alone. There's only so much we can turn a blind eye to. If this becomes a scandal, it's both our asses. Fix it. Well, 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 well. Well, well. I heard about these disappearances. I fucking knew there was a pattern. This is huge, Howard. I don't know why you want them left alone. I think it's because they're connected to them. Why does the science minister even care? It's because he made them go missing. They're all being turned into flesh. He's protecting someone who's made them go missing. Okay, no, maybe not. Clear connection. They all went missing. One person is responsible. Fix it. Mm -mm. Look at the other paper. It does feel like... Uh, Whatever I say doesn't really impact how close we are to moving the story forward, which is fine. Briefing log. Last thing. My right honourable ministers, I wanted to summarise my official recommendations on the new street drug in circulation named Monkey Butt. Read on. Despite the insulting name, I don't believe it to su possess significant addictive qualities. There is no widespread risk to public health, so criminalisation is not warranted. That's a lie. That is a lie. It's highly addictive. 
I will continue to monitor the situation with the cooperation of the police. Your dossier includes a detailed toxicology breakdown. No widespread. Criminalization is not warranted. This protects Clarissa's customers. Oh, sorry, I meant to say Clarissa. Whoopsie. Oh, well, Renee's there to pick up my slack. My right honourable ministers. Hmm. If they accept the report, those drugs are basically legal. Legal? Monkey butt? Not on my watch. Jack Wood says monkey butt is just cake, isn't it? Monkey butt is a made-up drug. I think we're done here, Renee. What exactly is the relationship between Clarissa and the minister? I mean, if the minister is eating the flesh, that is a partnership of a kind. But also, she has dirt on him, maybe? Let's just try the partners. What does the minister want? What is he getting from this? Flesh! Judging by what you saw and the dinner RSVP, these ministers and maybe the apes at large are considering lower class people a delicacy. Could have been me on those plates. It's unthinkable. And Clarissa is enabling this. What does she get in return? Immunity. Ape ministers are a girl's best friends. If the science minister helps to protect her from the police or any other meddling in her business, then she gets to safely produce drugs. She gets to keep the bite going. And Bloodworth can safely make people disappear. All of these things are potentially true. Yeah. Should we look into the West End thing? Will says, wow, that's a bit on the nose. <laughs> Jessica Lee says, is the monkey butt made of actual butt? My God. Yes, I'll get you the reports, names, addresses. We have to see if these people are connected to the Minister of Bloodworth. Somehow we investigate West End tomorrow. Right, there's no time to lose. I think that is fair. We have to act now. There must be something else we're missing and even benef bigger benefits to Clara. Something only an ape can give her, maybe, but there's got to be a reason. Oh, the science minister. Yes, science stuff then. Yep. RNA. Oh, science is hard. Proteins, that's right. Thanks, Renee. It was basically just a how closely are you listening question, wasn't it? Also, if Renee doesn't stop drinking tea at that pace, she is going to be busting for the loo any second. Okay. Proteins of la, 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 la. Secret research only the minister and one scientist know about. Could Clarissa be interested in this research for her own purposes? Could be that the missing girls are all making drugs in that lab. Might be powerful. She wants power. Getting into Science City will be hard. Into the most secretive building in the city? Are you serious? Let's try that. I am. But first, West End. We're in cover... Uh, excuse me. We're uncovering something incredible, Howard. This partnership is working out. Yeah, we're really doing it. Oh, great. Our takeout arrived. Nice. I'll get it. This is going to go badly. I'm about to be abducted, I assume. Nice. I'll get it. Oh, no, wait. It is just... <gasps> it's a goose. Well, that's the best thing I've ever seen. <gasps> it's geezer. Honk. I don't understand what. Honk, honk. Ah, here's your loon, buddy. Honk. Fly free. Drink with me. Something stronger than tea this time. I thought you'd never ask. Tonight's poison is gin. <laughs> it's 
tonight's poison is gin. Today's fish is trout a la creme. Enjoy your meal. Cheerful Spider's done a super chat, saying American here tried HP sauce for the first time yesterday after Andy mentioned it. Good on monkey butt, you think? Definitely better than ketchup. I think it's probably good on monkey butt, anything to mask the taste of monkey butt. It's kind of like A1 sauce, in my, in my opinion, to be perfectly honest with you. Emma Benton says, excellent choice, Rene, so we're going to have a tall gin. Gin is not meant to be that colour. Cheers to you, Rene. To me, so how are you feeling about the case and everything? Still can't wrap my head around it all. Never feel like I, I feel like I've never done anything so important. I'm glad you're by my side. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you, Howard. I feel like all my past work, my whole life, has been leading to this moment. You were a writer before, right? Yep, spent my life trying to find the words for how and why everything is so fucked up. Fucked up how? Clarissa isn't just a bad apple. Everything is connected. She's a symptom of a system totally rigged toward the status quo. What do you mean? Do you think it's a coincidence that you found Jeremy being butchered? The rich are literally eating the poor, Howard. Do you think that's something to do with class? <laughs> what a dumb question. That's one way to put it. The city is rotting from the head. If you don't see it, you're blind. I see it now. When did you know? You know, I always fit in. People liked me, yet I felt disconnected. I was sleepwalking. And then one day something cracked inside of me. What happened? Tell me. Last year I was reporting for the City Herald. There was an incident in West End. It made me into who I am now. What incident? Pipes burst in one of the older buildings. The tenants called sewer services. It took them three hours to arrive. People boiled alive. I tried to report on it and got fired. Yeah, what the fuck? All these people in areas like West End and Docks are invisible, neglected, and they die every day. The city is built on their blood. I can't take it. I have to do something. I feel the same way after the bite. Good. Nothing will ever be the same again. You won't be able to pretend it's normal anymore. I don't want normal anymore. Right, it's time to change things, finally. I believe in us. How have you been sleeping since? Not been getting much. I had this recurring nightmare. I'm listening. Running through thick black mud. Sounds a bit like mine. I'm falling from a multi-story building and it's on fire. I just keep falling until I wake up. Yep, I'm close with your mum. Close enough, yeah. It's complicated. It's hard to explain. I have to love her for that because she's my mum. <sighs> she's been spiralling for you. She's complacent and she's got no perspective. Go on. She's like an idiot that she owns. This game has many rabbit holes down which to fall. Conversational ones. How do you cope? Maybe I should do that. If someone brings negativity into your life, cut them out. Works every time. I'll think about it. Uh, do you ever feel like no one truly knows you? You know me, kind of. I can only see you over there. Oh my god, Renee. I'm glad that I'm in your head. Can we just kiss? You're also in my head, Renee. That's nice. Are you happy? I'm not sure. I'll tag along if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sleep here. That's fine. Close your eyes. We didn't even drink our enormous, oddly coloured gins. It's a weird place to stand. Tuck in. Sweet dreams, Renee. Cork board. Article makes no mention of where they found him. Makes you wonder. Bloodworth patriarch found dead. What are you playing at, Bloodworth? Starling cider. What are you hiding, you bastard? <laughs> that Louis is a wreck. But I can't help feeling a little sorry for him. Looks like she hasn't called them yet. Are we staying on track, Renee? Fat goose noodles. Let's go to sleep. Tristan Jackson says, 
as the lamb stopped screaming, Rene. Oh, here we go. Howie, you okay? You're brooding more than Essie after I forgot the dishes. Shut up. <laughs> Lots of my mind. How about you share instead? Oh, buddy. Tolly, you're not. Tolly, you just drive. Whoa, hey, that lady. I don't know why you died when you're dreaming. <laughs> the voices aren't getting better, are they? Hey, hey, hey. Looking to get cook up a little something, something is all I'm saying. That you, Street Hawk? <laughs> Since when do I have a code name? It's time now, Street Hawk. Anyway, how's it been going over there? We're near the apartments of the last two leads now. Where's? Oh, the. We're looking into the West End in the district. Okay. Stay positive. Maybe Beverly or Bill will talk. Maybe, I don't know. What if this is a total wild geezer chase? It might be, but we won't know until we follow the leads. You should know this stuff is never handed to you on a plate. I was handing it to you on a plate, Renee! It just feels like a shot in the dark. Nah, I really hope you're right. Nah, nah, yeah. Two more doors, and they're in the same block of apartments. And then you can come back and put your feet up. It'd be nice if it gave me a chance. If only they knew how understanding you are. Chin up, you got this. So sweet. One of them's probably going to die. It's probably going to be Renee. Ugh, okay. If only they knew how understanding you are. You should be good at. I do got this. Knock gently. All right. West End! There's a Yumi Mart that I heard about earlier. Yummy, yummy for your tummy. Good old yummy. Okay. Dr. Aliyev. Hello, Gabriella. I'm busy. I hear you. Bye. <laughs> Dr. Aliyev. West End doctors, jacks of all trades, masters of none. Superintendent. Who are you? Hey, who are you? Me, I'm the boss. You want in, you go through me first. Pretty sure that's not how it works. Don't tell me how to do my job. Please relax, I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm a private detective, okay? A detective dressed like that? Like what? This is how detectives dress, because I am one. Your trash is what you are. Oh, and you're such a sartorial trailblazer. I know what works on me and I work it, damn it. Dang. This sucks to say otherwise. I'm going to see Beverly now. Scout's on there. Bye. I actually love your socks. Bye. <gasps> we became friends. Barrett Green says, I'm not clear on this. Where are we now? So you'll remember that um, there were lots of disappearances in the West End. Um, so, and Rene is convinced that they have a connection and that they're probably tied up in all of the business at the bank. So we're going to try and talk to them now. Core, says the lift. Yep, let's, uh, let's get in that lift, hey. Floor five or floor eight? Floor five, why not? Let's see what's on floor five. A crying baby. Books. Looks like a communal library or a book swap. Maybe I should set up a similar thing in my building? Bicycle. Whoever owns this rusty bike is very trusting. Most likely it's broken. Knock, knock. Hello. Go hear someone in there. Do we knock again? I'm supposed to knock quietly. Thunder Cookie says, wasn't there a crow on the delivery truck too, or did I imagine that? It was a starling. Hello? Ah! Beverly Fam? Do you have a minute, ma'am? It's 
Tell me about Leslie. Who was she closest to? When did Leslie disappear? Did Leslie act weird before disappearing? I want to understand. I want to find these girls. Uh. Hey there, Henry. My? Who's my? Thanks, Henry. Beverly, I hate to stir things up for you. I'll walk with you? Ah, I blew it. Find a way to speak to Henry Pham. Ooh, I'm not sure about that. Mm. Let's just go to the eighth floor. Let's try again. Clean slate. Eight. Okay. Hey, Johnny with a heart. That's nice. Hey, Luxie. Beat it, Grandad. Fuck you. We're the Dead Mice Collective, bitch. <laughs> oh, do tell. We're a self-governing anarcho-countercultural movement. Do you have an agenda? Damn right, it's called the Mouse Parade. Very good. We disrupt the hood and challenge people's minds. How exactly? Graffiti, protest, and lovemaking. Whatever it takes. Stay angry. Why the name? We hate mice. Wait, aren't you rats? We are, and we hate mice. It's a metaphor you won't understand. Very cool. Keep at it. Live on this floor? Right, of course. Laters, then. Bye! All right. How about you, Bean? Core? Why? Black eyes, burning eyes. Core, core? You understand. This is good. I am Crow. Okay. Doorless door, eh? Okay, Bill moved out. That's fine. Oof. Looks like nobody's home. Yeah, silent. All right, that's fine. Maybe we do have to find a way to talk to the kid. Boarded up door. This dredges up some painful memories. I don't want to go back to this life. This game is quite heavy. These stains are mysterious and unappealing, and I hope nobody has to sleep on this. Goodness me. All right. Um, you know what, friends? I know it's slightly early, but uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I think I might end the stream around now-ish, because uh, this game is quite heavy, isn't it? Um, and it's also quite a lot to stream in terms of reading everything out and um, just sort of keeping up with the voices and navigating things. And um, it feels like we're in a real pea super right now. Uh, and I don't think we're going to get sort of any resolution anytime soon. So as much as I am enjoying this game, I don't actually... F I feel like the quality of stream is going to start like... Beep, uh, going steadily downhill. And I should also take the dog out to go to the toilet. Um, Thunder Cookie says, it's surprisingly dark and deep. It really is. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to take this little piglet out. Um, and we're going to go for a walk. Um, but thank you very much, everyone, for um, sticking with me through this surprisingly weighty game. I thought, I'm a wisecracking raccoon in a coat. I have a, I have a great, I have a great, you know, chill time just sort of cracking wise and looking through bins. And we only looked through one bin. I looked through one bin. But um, yeah, anyway, like I really did enjoy this. But um, I think it's probably about time to um, to uh, to call it there. So um, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Excuse me. However much of it is left. Um, I will be back on Saturday with another episode of Press Any Chiodini. Uh, and then back again on Monday to do some uh, some hobby streaming. So, um, yeah, that is about it from me. But, yeah, thank you again so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Make sure you're subscribed. Blah, blah, blah. I'm on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. Uh, but, yeah, thank you again very much for watching. And um, I'll catch you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>